Very excited for the wrestling match here. Oh, and the wrestling match is beginning between Levi Bussey and Richard Alvarado. Right, They're locking up. up. I think Levi got a lot bigger since I saw him two months ago. He's gotten so much bigger. It's crazy seeing kids this young getting this good at wrestling. Oh my God. Good tie-ups, yeah. Alvarado shot for a single. Levi sprawled out. He's controlling the anchor right now. Alvarado's working his way behind Bussy. Sorry about that technical difficulties we're figuring out here. It looked like uh, it was a takedown attempt and reset. Looks like he has him in a wrestling. <laughs> I have to apologize. I am not very well versed in wrestling. So, um, yeah, they're going at it and going good. Wrestling is not my strong suit either. Yeah. Well, it is now since yeah, you've now. been training, since you've been wrestling. I just don't know quite what to call anything. No, not at all. Yeah. So, I think Levi, um, I don't know the rules either. Got to get his foot out. No? Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Could it hurt? Maybe. For Alvarado, get his arm out and come up on top. So, uh, yeah, it appears that they are starting and uh, restarting in some referee's position. Referee's position. Levi starting on the back. Oh, nice Alvarado reversal cut by Alva Alvarado. Cut the corner real well. Oh. Got on Bussy's back. Currently Getting controlling back. from the back. Oh, wow. Can he choke in wrestling? No, he has a seatbelt on him. Okay. I was controlling the head of Levi. You got to come on, you got a circle there. Yeah, there you go. Control yes, the very good. And keep driving. Oh, and All Levi right. comes up on top. Oh, nice little scramble for a second there. In the back up. These boys are going at it. Alvarado shoots for a takedown, shoots for a single. He's grinding the single. Alvaro's trying to elevate Levi's leg. These kids are so much better at wrestling than I'm ever going to be. Oh, I know. Levi's got to burst up and get up, huh? Explode. Alvarado's Alvarado on top again. Looks like points for Alvarado. Yeah, it looks, this does not look good for Levi. Not sure when he gets the points, but. seconds out here. We're going to have a burst, a scramble. Last minute. Seems to be Alvarado controlling Levi from the top for these last 10 seconds. Very, very nice control. Right now 
what is it? Five Alvarado for a Bussy. Bussy's down by one point. Going to this next one. We have another period, and now they're back in the referee's position. Alvarado will be starting on the back of Bussy now. <laughs> Levi exploded up. Alvaro elevates and slams Levi. Great slam. He's scooping up the leg there. He's got to flatten him out here, maybe. Starting on Bussy's back. Here, one minute left. It seems like Alvarado is controlling Levi by uh, position. Levi trying to get back up. Alvarado holding him Alvarado down. Alvarado all over him. Returns him right back to the mat. Levi popping back up. Levi trying to pop back up, but Alvarado seems to have me all over him. Great control by Alvarado. Keeps knocking the base out of Levi. <laughs> nice hip control from Alvarado. Dragging him back down. Very nice grips from Alvarado. Levi not driving out of bounds. And they're starting back in the referee position. With Levi on the ground and Alvarado starting out of back. They're still at 5-4. Alvarado 5, Bussy 4. Oh, Levi rolls through, reverses. Oh, nice. Levi coming up. A little scramble. Oh, Alvarado catches him. Alvarado him back over. Looking for the pin. Nope. Alvarado staying on top here. Great bit of aggressive wow. wrestling. Wow. Good job, guys. Nice beautiful, match. beautiful wrestling match. Alvarado wins by five points. Levi's four. Up next, we're going to have Ryan Liu versus Xavier Lopez for Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu. Woo. Have a little more. Where Billy and me are actually going to know the rules. Commentary here on this uh, next uh, match, uh, that's uh, for sure. We're actually going to know the rules <laughs> and the moves. Yes. We'll know-ish what we're talking about next. You want to ridicule us for the wrestling rules? I agree. But hey. Now in Jiu-Jitsu, and we are, they are using EBI rules, so they will be using overtime if the submission is not gotten. Nice. Do you know uh, how long each match is, Logan? Five minutes. Five minutes? Yep, they're sticking to the normal five-minute rounds. Sweet. Five minutes with OT. Awesome. Five minutes with OT, uh, overtime, and then if nothing happens in overtime or it's a draw, uh, they're not doing draws, they will then go to referee's decision. Okay, right time, right? Yeah. Okay, in three rounds over time? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Typical EBI. Two rounds. Two rounds. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so typical EBI rule set with two rounds instead of three for the uh, overtime. And coming out on the mat right now is Ryan Liu. They will be doing D. His next opponent will be Xavier Lopez. Uh, that's why I got confused. Who's who? Can you hear us anywhere? On the, that's only on the paper. Okay. People, I want to make sure.
so that people could hear us that are watching. And his opponent coming out is Xavier Lopez. You can see their background, they were both yellow belts in the gi. This should be an exciting match for our up and coming grapplers. It's crazy seeing grapplers this young out there. The future. Oh, it's nuts. He's All right. good. He's got some swagger to him, too. They look intense. Oh, wow. I'm afraid of these kids, man. One of these days, they're going to grow up. They're going to come after us, dude. So I'm always nice. I'm always Give me a year nice or two and they'll be as tall as you are, Billy. <laughs> no, that's not so much. <laughs> <laughs> these kids are so technical at such a young age and already competitors. There's Chad Bingham is roughing. And here, here they start engaged. Xavier oh, pulls, pulls guard. Immediately. Ryan is pressuring. Looks like he's looking for a knee slice. Ryan pushing down, stuffing that knee. Ooh, Xavier got oh. him in his guard. Xavier doing a good job, I think, keeping his posture down. Can't tell from this angle. Nope. Ryan's currently trying to fight out of Xavier's guard. Trying to get his posture, but uh, Xavier's keeping him nice and broken down. Oh, Xavier, Xavier transits for an armbar from the closed guard. Oh, nice. Looks tight from here. These kids are so smooth. Just gotta extend his hips out though. Can Ryan do, do good it. job about pressuring him in. Yep, he's doing a good job hunkering down, defending. Xavier's still working for that armbar. Oh, he's oh. transitioning back. Going back. Oh. Switch maybe. Back to the oh. armbar. Xavier trying to get an angle here. Xavier's like a little pit bull on that armbar. He's staying. Just the foot behind the head. That was nice, actually. Might be able to get enough leverage like that. Oh, oh and, and Ryan out. is out. Currently north south. Oh, getting side control. Oh, he's on top right. Oh, reverse triangle attempt, maybe? Didn't get the other foot under. Yeah. Ryan staying on top, keeping that pressure. Xavier getting those oh. legs in, keeping that space up. Open guard now for Xavier. Ryan's passing, attempting to pass. Looks like Xavier's looking for a sweep, leg sweep. Oh, nice little pressure pass. Cleared one knee. Well, I can't tell, but it looks like he may have. Nope, Xavier doing a great job. Oh, open the back. Oh. Okay, good pressure from Ryan. Xavier's currently controlling the leg of Ryan, trying to hunker him back in. Oh, Xavier Cribs trying to trying suck him in. Going for a De La Hiva sweep, maybe. No. Very active, Xavier, on the bottom. Ooh, and Ryan. Oh, nice. He's got a pressure pass. It looks like he's going to finish. Just got to clear that last little calf. Looks like Xavier tried throwing up a triangle. Oh, he might actually recover the guard here, though. He's not past it yet. Oh, can't ever count Xavier out. Xavier oh, searched for the arm bar. Pushes oh, the leg down. Side control for Ryan on top. Oh, no oh Ryan side face. control. Xavier looking to get that knee back into him. Oh, Xavier looking for that armbar again. Oh, wow. He is hunting for that armbar. He might be able to extend it here unless uh, Ryan does what he's doing and walks toward his right. Ryan taking a big deep breath, defending that armbar very, very well. Hunkering down. He's keeping that pressure on so he can't extend that arm. But Xavier's hunting for it. He's not letting go. Xavier adjusting. And Ryan walking out. One minute left in the match. Xavier still holding onto that armbar. Ryan slowly adjusting position.
30 seconds left. Oh, right oh. in the north-south position. Wow. Got I out blinked. of that armbar control. <laughs> nice. Blinked and Ryan ends up on top here. The nice Kimura. Can he finish it? Nice. Five seconds. He's fighting for that Kimura. Xavier's not giving it to him. He's rolling through. Oh, Man. wow. Beautiful Fantastic. job by these two young gentlemen here. Athlete monster. So if I'm not mistaken, they will be going to the EBI overtime. So I think they're looking for a coin to flip to decide where, who's starting, who's picking positions. All right. Where's Chewy Marino at? I saw him in the house. He's probably the best coin flipper in all of Placer County, but. Number one coin flipper. We will have referee Chad Bingham flip the coin this time. Number two coin flipper. Yes, <laughs> close second. Okay, look like Ryan won the decision. He's picking. And I think he's going to take his back. Yeah, Ryan likes to take his back, so we're starting. Let's see it. So he has one minute to either uh, submit or hold on to him. If Xavier gets out, we're going to switch spots. I mean, Xavier just picked an armbar. Looks like he's got the rear naked grip, huh? No, no grip on the gi. Going straight for it. Ryan just squeezing. Might be on the chin. Eh? Yeah, it looks a little high. Might, oh, oh no, under, I don't know. Under. Might be underneath. Xavier's defending. He's trying to control that top arm, pull it back. Oh, the there we go. Xavier. In the top for Ryan. Okay. It's okay. He's got another chance. If he could tap him in less time than Ryan just tapped Xavier, then Xavier wins. Then Xavier wins. Yep. Okay, so Ryan has to hang on for dear life. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, he's squeezing. Well, he's got a, he's got the arm grip, so if he can hang hang on for what 15 seconds. I think so. Currently turned away from us. Can't see what they're doing with the fighting hands, but it looks like Ryan's doing pretty well about keeping the legs. Trying to fight the legs, not let him cross his feet. Ooh, Ryan's fighting the hands, holding the hands on. Good decision. And that's time. Good job. Ryan won that one. Ryan Liu in overtime. Ryan Liu. Up next, we're going to have Gina Garner against Josie Perez. Looks back. like we're back. We have Gina D. Gardner on the mats right now. And her opponent, Josie Perez. And Josie Perez is walking out now. These are two gray belts in the gi. I'm excited for this one. This is going to be a good one. I don't know Josie, but I know uh, Gina. I've, I've trained with her. I think I've known her since she was like three years old. So it's so cool to see her out there competing like this right now. Here we go. She's a little pieced. It's going to be a great match. Ooh, Josie's starting aggressive. Oh. Ooh, guard pull immediately for Gina. Nice. Oh, oh Gina looking for the arm, arm bar. bar. Early arm bar attempt. Wow. Gina back to her knees. Pulls. Josie fought guard. out of it. 
these ladies are already going after it. Very aggressive. Love it. Gina currently has Josie in her guard. They're looking. Gina getting those grips. Oh, another armbar attempt from Gina. Oh, belly down and got the tap. Ooh, nice, Gina. Good job. Nice Gina with the belly down armbar. What a beautiful submission. Nice fight from both these ladies. Gina Gardner. Once again, Gina Gardner with the belly down armbar. with the last ladies. Billy, honestly, it amazed me how good these kids are. They're so much better technically than I am still. Like I was saying, man, these kids, they're gonna come up. So you adults out there, be very nice, okay? Uh, boy or girl, <laughs> they're gonna come after you. No, they're monsters, each and every one of them. Oh yeah. And Nanda Alva's making her way to the mat. Mr. Bingham, back on the referee mat. Duty. <laughs> Here we go. And the match has started. Looks like Hazel pulls immediately. Good grips. De La Hiva hook. Ananda stuffing. Immediately going for the pa Oh, Right into the guard. Nice. Oh, posture's up. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, stands up. Right up. She's gonna push that knee down or trying to use her own body to weight you. to get her to slip that hook. Or slip the guard, I mean. Oh, got her head free and back down to the guard. Nice. Hazel keeping uh, Nanda in her guard. Trying to break that posture down right now. Nice collar grip, working it a little bit higher. Come on. Ooh, Hazel broke down that posture. Nice. Oh, nice. Now to opens the guard. Can I go for that knee slice? Got hip yeah. control. Do? Oh, she switches sides. It looks like Hazel got her in half guard. Oh, no, back yeah, to full, full guard. guard. Great pressure from Nanda. Three minutes left in the match. Got Hazel controlling the posture now from a closed guard. Switch his hands. Nanda looking to break Hazel's guard. Hazel readjusting. Oh, Nanda's doing that, uh, what's it called pass? Do you know what it's called? No, it looks like she's going for a scarf hold now. Oh, it looks like Hazel trying to transition to her back. Very slick. Now we're gonna try to. Oh, not yeah. Having any of it. Right to side control. Oh, Ooh. Hazel gets that hook Hazel back immediately around. recovers. I'm wondering if Hazel's gonna try to sneak under the left arm for the back take. It looks like Nanda's controlling her head a little bit too much for Hazel to get her head around right now. Yeah, Nanda's doing a good job preventing it. Very good. Hold on, the last little bit. Oh, nice. She puts, Hazel puts it right back in the full guard. Stop winning for her back. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Kick the around a little bit. She's a kick over a little bit more. Can't tell from here. It's a setup. No, okay. So it looks like she was controlling the armbar. Had a little 
over a minute and a half left now. My, one of my personal favorites, cross collar choke here. Oh, so you can use it for the sweep? Can she fit? Oh, oh beautiful. Mount. Sweep to mount. Gorgeous. Set up with the cross collar threat. Kick bump sweep oh. to mount. Now it looks like Not she's going to fuck her off. Again to the arm oh, bar. Arm bar. Ooh, she is. She ran out of space, huh? <laughs> and has got her against the wall. It's going to be tough to create the leverage from the wall. she got to get out. She can extend her legs, but actually use it pretty well. Oh, yeah. Come on, she's coming up. Oh, nice. Now Hazel's in Nanda's guard. Oh, and oh, Hazel, Hazel oh, immediately oh. passed. Oh, going for the mount. It's caught back in half. Oh, right to mount. Oh, and the slick arm bar. Arm bar. The mount from the top. Got the position. Can she pry the arm? She's got 40 seconds left to do so. Hazel's fighting those grips. Switching to the triangle. Good defense from Hazel. Oh, we're gonna close it up. I'm sorry, good defense, Amanda. Hazel swapping up to a triangle. Reverse triangle, 20 seconds left. She's gotta get the knee a little higher, I think. To her other knee pit, or her foot rather. Not like trying to get her head out, but Hazel's looking for that arm when she gets her head out. Lock it up a little tighter. Oh. Good job from, uh, from Nanda. Nice job defending from Nanda. Pops her head right out, and that's time. Good so we'll go to OT clean. here. Beautiful match. Very back and forth. I love it. So once again, this is EBI overtime. So either back or spider web. What's spider web, Logan? Oh yeah, spider guy. Well, <laughs> no, spider web. Yeah, spider it happens. Web. We'll, we'll change, we'll change the name. Those of you new to <laughs> jujitsu, it's the armbar setup yep. position. Most people go off the back. Yeah, we close at one on Saturday. Sorry, man. Looks like Hazel has elected to start Nanda's back. And here we go. Hazel already making grips. Nanda controlling her arms very well, though. Trying to get her feet off. She might have to get a little high. Got to readjust, get that under the chin. Yeah, it grips. Not as controlling the feet of Hazel, though. Great Trying to get those hooks out. Now those peeling one hook. Hazel trying to switch to a body triangle. Hazel readjusting that grip there, getting it tighter, deeper, that's good. And readjusting her hooks as well. Good control, I don't know if that's good deep enough. Looks like it might have slipped under. Slipped oh, under. oh it is under the chin. Is it? It is under the chin, yes. Oh, I, and there we go, we tap. have the top. Just a little minute adjustments the whole time. Oh that was beautiful. That's beautiful. So that was about a little over a minute, it looked like. So. Nanda has to submit Hazel in less time than about a minute and five seconds for the win. We'll see if Hazel can hold on or get out. Looks like Hazel's looking just to defend, not get out. Oh, Hazel doing one of my favorite by wrapping up the ankles. Looks like she might be slipping out here. She's getting her back to Matt. Oh, and she's in switch out. position. Nice. 
Hazel wins this so five. that means that Runic is Hazel Alejo by Runic and Token overtime. Job, Woo! And the muscle, the flex. These kids are so good. Up next, we have Jaden Herrera against Johan Antonian. And we're back. We have Jaden Herrera versus Johan Antonian. Oh, and Jaden with the guillotine Just already. Just started. Early. We're about 10 seconds in. Johan popping his head out. Jaden breaking that posture down, controlling that head and arm. Hunting for that guillotine. Seems to be Jaden is hunting for that arm bar right now, trying to get him flattened out a little bit. Got a Jaden Red Dragon Herrera here from Precision Jiu Jitsu. Oh, look this at that dummy sweep. Didn't get it. Johan is no arm. dummy. Nope. <laughs> Jane is a very active oh, guard. Wow. Oh, the triangle. the triangle. He saw it and he went for it immediately. Down. Control that wow. Line. Johan is trying to elevate. Jane is changing his angle. Johan trying to rip out. Holding on to his. Jane has a tight beautiful. triangle. Yes, rolled and he over. rolls up on top. Little Almost adjustment. On top. Adjusting his feet. Now he's adjusting the arm and pulling up the shin. That looks tight. No big movements from Jaden. Johan is trying. Oh, and oh, Johan's yeah. nice. Very good defense. He's so sitting up. But content with wrestling. Right back to his feet. This kid's a beast, man. He's got so much heart. Jaden is always like the last one in the gym. Everybody's tired, done rolling. Who wants some? Only Jaden. No, uh, it looks easy like Jaden's task here in Johan. With oh. another guillotine attempt. Nice. He's always hunting for those. He's squeezing with all his might right now. Has him in his guard. Just looks deep. Oh, nope, Johan again pops out. Nice. Good defense from Johan. Jaden working from the closed guard again. Three minutes remaining in this. <clears throat> no gi. And remember, this is a beginner match between these two guys. Josh Hinger in the house. Johanna is still in Jaden's guard. Jaden hunting for submission still. Tying up that left arm of Johan. Keeping that posture broken. Oh, Johan pops up. Jaden doing very good about breaking down that posture, keeping him in nice and close. Look Johan for another breaking. triangle attempt. Stuff in the feet. Looking for a pass here. Johan's controlling the leg. Oh, there you oh, go. There we go. He very opens Jaden's guard here, and Jaden right back to closing it. Two minutes left. And they're readjusting back to the center of the map. A little under two minutes left to work. Jaden controlling the posture here. Here we go, Johan pushing at the knees. 
Trying to break that closed guard open. Jaden may be looking for the sweep right now. Yeah, he's tying up both arms. I would say they're probably looking for the scissor sweep. I don't know what that is, Logan. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> oh, looking for a dummy sweep again? Nope. And they're back to the speed. Johan looking to re-engage right away. One minute, Jaden. Get it. 60 seconds. Oh, Jaden. Jaden once again looking again for that guillotine. Standing guillotine. Johan body locking. Oh. oh, nice. Body lock and slam. Looks like Jaden is trying to get behind Johan. Johan's not letting that happen. Johan going for a, a pass here. Oh. Go, go. And Johan inside control. 40 seconds, 40 seconds to work. Jaden pops right back up. Johan looking for a Dars. Jaden with the half guard on bottom now. Johan has but a dart. Oh, and Jaden's out. Nice. Fantastic defense and offense from these guys. Non stop. At oh, Johan with guys. another quick pass. Almost. Looking for a north south. There we go. From Johan. Oh, Johan going to side control. 10 seconds left. Nice cross face to mount. Looking for an arm bar from Johan. Jaden's going to. Defending well. Hold on here. Oh, nice. And now we're going to overtime. Let's see who wins the coin flip. Here we have uh, the before mentioned best coin flipper in Placid County, Chewy Moreno here. It's gonna be great. Looks like Jaden gets to the elect position. So he's starting on the back of Johan. Jaden has a vicious back attack, so I'm excited to see what happens here. Yes, he does. He's a beast. <laughs> Johan already trying to control the feet. Jaden locks the body lock. Oh. He's going for the body triangle. He got a foot caught by Johan. They're moving quick. Not going to. Disturb Jaden and he's gonna go. Nice by lock from Jaden. Right to business, adjust and. Oh, he might have it sunk in. Go for the choke here. He might have it sunk in. Oh, he looks like he had it on the chin. Okay. A little high. He's gonna readjust, getting the body control first. Doing great about controlling Johan, but Johan defending the choke very, very well. Johan holding on to the arms there, very good. Jaden Jane switching his body triangle. And he's almost out here. And that's it. That was about minute 40 11 seconds. Nine se no, it's backwards, buddy. <laughs> Is it? No, it's going from two. Oh. Well, 49 seconds in. Math's not my strong suit. <laughs> I stick to jujitsu. I was going to say. It. Well, then, yeah. Jujitsu and comedy is your strong suit. Yeah, that's that's about it. Oh, Johan and Jaden's back. Gonna reset the clock. Yep, from two minutes down. So, it was right as usual. Can you uh, tell my wife that? <laughs> Jaden has to escape quickly. Good job. Oh, Johan already searching under the chin. Oh, oh Jayden nice. Rolls Jayden right. explodes right out. Good, beautiful, Jaden. Yeah, we can see the clock. So now they're going to the golden rule. What's that now? Honestly, I heard Fredo mention it, and that's all I know. Golden rule. I'll find out. We are going to the golden rule. Go figure. Logan and I may have misinformed everybody. <laughs> Probably. Let's see what happens. Maybe not two rounds. We'll see. You'll learn in two rounds in OT. Yeah, we learn as we go. We're jujitsu guys, you know. Oh, oh it's uh, the first to score points. I'm sorry. Oh. And that's a takedown for Johan. So that's Johan. Yep. With the win. Good match from these gentlemen. Great match. 
Wait, these guys are beginners? Yeah. 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 It's kind of insane. Yeah. Johan won overtime. Good match from these gentlemen. Great match. Up next, we have Cassie the Boss Voss against Kazaya Nunez. We're back. Like I said, we're back with Cassie, the boss boss, against Kazaya Nunez. Early on, these matches have been very exciting. No one's been stalling. There's nonstop action. Chad Bingham is back to refing. There are so many good matches today. Honestly, I'm most excited for probably Lewis against Daniel at 505. That's probably my money for the most exciting match today.
we currently have Cassie the oh, Boss Boss against Kaziah Nunez. Cassie the Boss Boss. <laughs> Kaziah Nunez is on the mat right now. This is a blue belt gi match, adult. Cassie is also, uh, I know from personal experience, what I like to call a uh, beastress. Cassie came out aggressive. Yeah, I'm trying to throw her on the table there. Oh, because I oh, pulled guard. guard. Oh. Looking for an ankle lock, straight ankle straight lock. Ankle right off the bat. Going belly down. Cassie's coming up to defend. Cassie's looking to break that knee line. Still in danger, but she might be out. There she goes. Cassie's out. Ooh, because I am right back. Oh wow, that level, the high level of these two. Oh wow, this beautiful pass, just boom, shove the knee right to the side. Passing, but Cassie's still resisting. Kazaya settles into the pass. Working from side control now. Because I'm looking to keep that heavy pressure, keep uh, Cassie all nice and flattened out. Kazaya looking for looking to transition to full mount. Cassie doing a good oh. job keeping that knee up, preventing it. Looks like she might be trying to, I don't know, thought she was trying to loosen up the gi, maybe, Cassie. Oh, Kazaya into full mount. Cassie looks like she's trying to roll to her back. I'm sorry, roll to her stomach. Sorry, I know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> and an arm bar oh, from the arm close bar. guard. Cassie's Cassie out. Shrugged it off. Restarting in the middle. Oh, did oh, get it. I didn't see that. Kazaya with the top. See, you blink sometimes in jiu jitsu and you miss it. Completely missed it. Good job. Good job, Kazaya. That's a, that's a good win. That was a smooth bet. Oh bar. Yeah, that was a very nice transition. Oh, and next we have Zoe Money Brandon. <laughs> against Soraya Jasmine Vallejo. Zoe Money! Zoe Money on the way to the mats. Looking nonchalant. It's another blue belt match. Don't Very let that look fool you. She'll kill you to death. Zoe's a murderer. Soraya Jasmine Vallejo coming in next. All smiles. Right, made her way to the mat. I'm very excited for this match. Zoe's always fun to watch. I've not got to see his ride compete. I'm very excited. Business versus smiles. Here we go. Zoe immediately pulls guard. Straight to business. Looks like oh. she's looking for an arm bar early on. Nope, transits back. So oh, triangle, triangle attempt. Triangle. She's so got locked up. locked up already. Adjusting the pressure. Posture. She have that arm now. So we're looking for the angle. Oh, and oh, Zoraya's out. Up. Nice. Zoe sucks her right back in. And sweep for Zoe. Zoraya's looking for the straight ankle lock. Both playing a little footsies, it looks like. Zoe's really long, so she's gonna have to really extend to get. Uh, Shrai's really gonna have to extend to get that ankle lock. And it looks oh, like Zoe's Zoe looking back as Zoraya. Oh, and she's yes, she comes right up on top, grabbing that gi, looking for a loop choke. Ooh, Zoe, looks like Zoe might be looking for a bow and arrow. Oh, there she is. Oh, and transition. Looks like she might transition to a triangle. Oh, yeah. 
Her foot never quite got back out, no. so she just used it for the triangle. Still holding and that loop. Looks like she's already transitioning to the back, controlling that left arm of Soraya. And Soraya pops out. Very nice. That's right, immediately going for the passes. And Zoe not having it. Not at all. Soraya just coming forward. Looks like Soraya's looking for another ankle lock. We're gonna sit back. So we're gonna come back up this time again. Pushing her foot through, defending very well. When you got such a long opponent, you almost always wanna get that rear naked grip on that ankle lock. You're not able to get that much pressure if you just do a straight ankle. And Zoe yeah, looking for that back. Soraya not quite able to cut the angle on that straight ankle, so Zoe keeps popping up. Oh, looks, looks like Zoe has that loop. Pretty tight. Oh, looks tight. Looks tight, she and Soraya taps. Oh. Great match from these ladies. Beautifully done. I couldn't tell if there was a, a verbal tap right before that or if she said something else, but luckily, uh, tapped in the nick of time. Beautiful loop jump from Zoe. That was a fun match to watch. These ladies went back and forth. Good job. And up next, we have, up next we have Owen Sabro against Moose. 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 We know Moose, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. That little kid. That little stinker, man. Oh, looks like Moose, Moose is in another No, he's got match. a green belt, so he's, he's less than 16, most likely. And this kid gives me so much trouble, man. He's so oh. scrappy and squirrely. It's gonna be a great match. Okay, looks like we may actually, might actually be going to the next match after that. We're going with Nicholas Pariah against Cody Palin. Did I say Moose? Yeah. Saik. <laughs> <Maybe laughs> no, that, 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 that was next. the match that was supposed to be up. I'm assuming something happened to one of the partners. I'll fight him. Put me in. Put me in, coach. I've gotten beat up by Smaller. Oh, we know. Trust me, everyone knows, Billy. <laughs> Killer Cody now, Palin Cody coming Palin up. The the bat. Oh, he definitely has a hair advantage. Oh, my money's on the hair. Yep. <clears throat> Mullet for the How win. How did mullets do last weekend? I don't did think they did that well in that, that weekend. Oh, nah. Well. I think all the mullets got tapped last weekend. Oh, well. That might go against him then. And this match started. Cody, oh, Cody. Guard. Oh, he went for a dynamic pass, but Cody was able to pull him into his half guard and sweeps him right up top. Open guard, he's going for the arm there. Oh, nice. Oh, and Nicholas right back up. These guys are moving fast. Yeah, I do not have the card really. to move that fast. Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we know. Other yeah. than that, you kill me. So. Mm -hmm. But your cardio sucks. <laughs> Cody's looking to break that posture. Get the grip on the, on the Nicholas the not letting that there. happen at all. Oh, Nicholas picking up Cody. Oh, and he breaks that grip. That was a nice little oof. Grip break to the pass, and I don't think he clears the knee yet. Now he's looking to pressure pass all the way to the side. Nicholas needs to get that knee out of his hip. There he goes, knee cut. Good job, nice knee. Cody doing a really good job about keeping his fit and feet in Nicholas's hips. Yeah, and gripping and framing. Really mastering that distance. Ooh, and Cody, just, I'm sorry, uh, Nicholas is side control. We're gonna circle around the back. He might actually have a control of the uh, the loop joke. Let's see. Cody nope. still. Oh yeah, he was, Cody did not give up for a second. He kept walking with him and eventually snuck his right knee back in for a half guard. Nicely done. Nicholas on top with some pressure now. It looks like Nicholas is searching for that head and arm, trying to get in the full mount and look for that head and arm. 
but not being in mount is not going to be a favor to him. Go another grip break, knee cut, pass attempt. Here we go, he needs to go. Yes, there we go. These two are so dynamic, and when they use it, it pays dividends. Very nice pass from Nicholas. Oh, beautiful. Just shrug the leg right to the side into side control on the other way. The frame from Cody are looking fantastic. And the only problem is he's got Nicholas on top of him. Yeah, Nicholas is not letting him do anything. Nicholas starting off in side control back in the center of the map. Looking for a neon, neon belly. belly. And I wonder if he's going to go from there to mount or go straight for it. Oh, Palin, oh, no one. No. So say Palin was looking to control that leg, but Nicholas not having any of it. Palin got right into his guard. Oh, and Nicholas elevating Palin. Oh, there he goes with the dynamic Sweet. passing, and he keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Cody following him. Oh, and Good steps match. right over to Mount. Good job, Nicholas. Right here. Cody's applying a lot of pressure from Mount, trying to isolate that left arm. Doing a great job by controlling the legs of Cody on the bottom. Not letting him bridge. He's got to get that hand off his hip. Can't tell from this angle if he's walking his, his, leg up his right hand. No, it's not. He's walking his legs up. Yes, yeah, going to high mount. Cody might turn. He might go for a back. Oh. I thought he was going to go for a mount of triangle. For <laughs> I thought he was going to work his way up. And back in the guard of Cody. Cody's not having any of it. These guys are just blue belts, too. I know. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Triangle attempt from Cody. Gotta Doesn't have that down. tight. Oh, and break the posture. Nicholas pops no. his head out. Nicholas so nonchalant. Got about, oh, 10 seconds left. That's just fly when you're having fun. Oh, yeah. And another dynamic pass by Nicholas on top here. Guys, don't even look at the breathing hard. They've been going a million miles an hour the whole time. They're athletes, man. Now into overtime. Let's see who wins the coin flip. Number one coin flipper. Chewy with the coin. Talk about nonchalant. Look at this. Yeah, look at look that look coin flip. Beautiful yeah. technique. Nine out of ten. <laughs> Nine point four. <laughs> Nine point four, yeah. I didn't like the dismount. <laughs> so confident. Look at Chewy. Oh, man. I didn't see, did Cody win that? I don't know. ADHD is, uh, you know. <laughs> Kicking in. It looks like Nicholas is starting on Cody's back. So remember, they have two minutes to either submit or get out. There are no points for ride time. No points for ride time. And if there's no submit, submit, who faster? If there's no submission, only ride time, and only the who gets out, it then goes to the golden rule, which is first to get a uh, point. So basically, a takedown. Oh, there we He's go. Out. Nicholas is out quick. Very quick. Under 10 seconds. So now, I'm going to guess Ooh. that Nicholas is going to take the back. Should we start guessing this? He, be he better take the back. I feel like most people take the back. Cody. Sorry. Most people do it's just that control. Too many people are so just people are so good about getting that arm out for arm bar. All Cody's gotta do is hold on for ten seconds. No, because if he submits him. Yeah. So he's got more time. Sorry, I thought the other guy went. Can't see if he has Good that control. Choking. Looks like uh, Nicholas having a hard time escaping. I don't think the grip's deep enough yet, though. 
Got a nice little body triangle. Does Cody. He's working that grip up higher. Walking it higher and higher, using his left hand to deepen the grip. I love that. Nigo should be pressing that elbow up. He's holding it down too tight. He's got to press it up and over his head. He's got space in there. Oh, oh he's, he's going for the bow and arrow. Nice body triangle. Cody just nonchalant holding on, slowly easing in that submission. Got 40 seconds left in OT. He's got to get that grip higher. Still looking for that bow and arrow. Oh, it looks like Nicholas popped his head out. Oh, switch to armbar. And, and Nicholas is out. Good job. Beautiful job. Great scramble. And here we are going to the golden rule. So two minutes, first to score wins. Let's see, I'm excited. These guys have been going back and forth. I think it's gonna be fire right now. The most aggressive is gonna win right now. Here we go. Double OT, golden rule. Nicholas with the takedown. Very nice match from the gentleman. And Nicholas Pariah wins in overtime. Fantastic. Great match, guys. And up next, we have Anthony Urea against Jack the Jackhammer Allison. Are you sure? Yeah. Where's Moose going? Did they switch it back? I'll find out after this. I'm just going with the next purse. <laughs> I got a list in front of me and I'm reading it. Next up, a mystery. Anthony Urea. Urea. Another blue belt match in the gi. Anthony just made his way to the mat. And Jack the Jack Hammer will be making it next. Here we go. Here comes Jack the Jack Hammer. And Jack just made his way onto the map. Ooh, fantastic song choice. Can't be touched. Let's see what happens. We got Jack Hammer Allison with the uh, starting aggressive. Pulls guard. Ooh, putting the hip. Controlling that leg. Nice. Nice double heave a hook from Jack. I like going behind the heel. I like going under in front of the foot and pull them off balance. Two people are too good at defending that behind the heel. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to circle to the back. Yep. Which is a great move. I personally love that, unless they just use it to pass. <laughs> oh, nice. Beautiful, sweet. Oh, and he's good content job, on his back. Jack on his back. Looks like he might have something here. I can't, oh, no. Pops his head out. Anthony going for a cut pass. He cut. There we go. Almost. Get in there. Jack getting those feet established. Mm -hmm. Jack with a tough guard. Keeps doing that overhead sweep. Nice. Keeps changing position doing that. Yeah, and then he's content on his back. I, I thought he was going to come up for the sweep, but he stays there. So I'm guessing he might have some funny business in the store later. So the nickname like the jackhammer, you should. Some trickery, some tomfoolery, if you will. Here we go, Anthony putting some pressure on him. And the sweep again. 
Jack doing a very good job of keeping his legs entangled. Not allowing Anthony to get his base. Jack's keeping all that weight on him so he can sweep him pretty easily. Seems to be Jack is just going for control right now. He doesn't, Jack will not come up. He's got two and a half minutes. I'm very interested to see what he can develop from that. A sweep not coming up. And they're restarting back to the middle. And they're throwing that belt back on. These young athletes here are shredded. What a show. For the ladies. <laughs> Here we go, back to the closed guard. And Jack right back to that, that collar grip and that leg. Oh, he's got an arm bar. Very nice. It's gonna flip him over. Or finish it here. And he's not letting him go over his head. He does not want to go to his back right now. Yeah, Anthony defending very well. Staying Starting on around. top. Oh, and there we go, he's hunkering down. Anthony keeping that pressure on him. Very nice. Good defense. Got that rear naked choke grip. And Jack Hammer. We can try and go for belly down. Anthony smartly walking over. Jack is not letting this armbar go. He feels it's deep. He's got a minute and a half to finish. Just it looks like he keeps transitioning for a belly down arm bar. Oh, and there he goes. Didn't and he just adjusted his grip. Let's see what happens. He's got to break the, the grip here. Do you know if they're allowing slices or not? I do not know. Oh, and, and another arm bar attempt. Anthony did a very good job right about defending from these arm bars. These have been very deep arm bars. Anthony needs to cut that corner and get around. Stop playing in the guard. Got 30 seconds left here. We like to see them break apart and go, go, go. Anthony looking for a pressure pass on top and in danger of an arm bar. And that's time. We'll go into the EBI OT for the first two minutes here. Let's see if this has another beautiful coin flip. Let's see what happens. The camera's not on him. Here we go. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, we, we missed, missed it. it. Oh, <sighs> ruins my day. That's why I'm a no gi fan, just because I don't have to adjust my gi. Yeah, I was gonna say a uh, little time for a gi adjustment. And you have Cody starting on Anthony's back. Anthony immediately moving the hips, pushing the knee. But is he defending the hands? It looks like he is. Jack needs to get his head back around, control his head. He's giving too much space from the back. Looks like Anthony might scooch out of here here in a minute. It's getting looser. Getting. Well, nice little adjustment oh. by Jack Hammer. Jack looking for that bow and, and arrow. Slick. 
Give it Anthony just enough step room. Over the other way. Ooh, that was slick. Jackhammer adjusts, regains control, and now he's going for. Still looking for that bow and arrow. Mm. Oh, he's got Anthony's got his butt out and rolled mm. the mount, and he's out. Forty-five seconds. Remember, ride time does not mean anything. It's only if they get a submission. Yeah, he shouldn't have come up because he could have kept trying on the back. Here we go. Anthony on Anthony's turn. On Jack's back. Now he's got to finish him here. So it would uh, benefit him to just stay on the back or before adjusting any position whatsoever, adjusting to a submission instead. That's all that matters here. Submit, submit, submit. Jack immediately shoulders on the ground. Anthony giving him space, oh, but just for the bow and arrow. Anthony. Oh, wow. He's hunting for that submission. He's nice not one ride time. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, and wow. Jack taps. Beautiful job by Anthony Herrera. Fantastic. That was tight. What's your deal, dude? Are you up? Here we got Heather Herberger versus... Back? Yep, we're back. We're back. Heather, Heather Heberger's up. Very exciting match against Heather Heberger and Tanya James. And Heather Heberger is having a blast out there, it looks like. She's All a, smile, bouncing oh around. Yeah, Lots it. of energy. That is awesome. That's what I like to see. Win, lose, or draw, have fun. That's what Jiu Jitsu is all about. I've had the pleasure of getting the roll with Heather a lot. Fantastic grappler. I've not got the roll with Tanya, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. Tiny comes out looking serious. Polar opposite to Heather. You know who else is looking serious? Chad. Chad always looks serious. But is he though? No. No. Not at all. Here we go. Tiny looking for that snap down. Tommy the aggressor on the feet. Heather looking to counter. Oh, now we see a smile from Tanya. She's killing him. She only smiles when she fights. I've never been a serious grappler. I can't, I can't help but smile when I grapple. <laughs> Same here. I'm doing what I love. Lots of hand fighting from these ladies. That is so tiring. It's unbelievable how much how tiring hand fighting can be. Oh, yeah. Heather not looking to let Tanya control that head posture. Good job keeping her head up. A smart move by Tanya, using her height advantage to try to snap the head. But she's trying to snap Heather's head, so it's not working. Here we go, a little tie up with Heather. Hand fighting. And we might have to retie the hair. Go Rose Nami Yunus on him. Shave that head. There we go. Tiny's still looking for that snap down. Still snapping. Heather's hair completely untied at this point. 
Three minutes left. Heather's tying up. It looks like she's looking for an arm drag. There's still a hand. Currently both holding each other the clinch. Heather looks to be pressuring forward now, looking for trying to grab a single. There's a little technical difficulty. We can't really see what's going on in the match right now. Still all stand up. Heather going for that arm drag again. Got a minute 30 left in the match. Time to go for that head snap still. There we go. Heather's getting a little more aggressive, it looks like. Must be aware of the time. Like Heather's being the aggressive towards Tanya, pushing her around the mat. Tanya's just backing up, looking to lock heads. Oh, wow. Heather's just driving, driving, driving forward. Nope. Went to the corner of the mat. Good thing Manny was there. Keep the ladies from going off. One minute, 10 seconds left. They're resetting in the center. The entire hair. There we go. She's going to take it. She said, you know what? Give me my hair tie. <laughs> Here we go. And they're back. They're still hand fighting. Heather looking to be the aggressor. I kind of look for that ladies. snap down, but nothing's coming off it. Both ladies aware of the time, stepping it up. And there's not letting her posh be broken. Yeah, Heather doing a great job with her posture. And she just, as of this last minute, really stepped it up and pushing the pace here. Heather looking for a body lock. Oh, 30 seconds left. Neither lady really looking for a takedown right now. Heather tying up, trying to get in from the hips. Five seconds. Talking for another snap down. And, and they're going to overtime. This is going to go to OT. Second best coin flip in the world. Oh, this is why he's second best, ladies and gentlemen. Just drop the coin. Drop the coin. Oh, my goodness. Well, this At is why we need Chewy for the coin flipper. Yeah. yeah. You can't let him hear him say this because he will beat both of us up. Yes, nobody tell him, please. Looks like Tanya is starting in Heather's back. And now we really can't see. So, Logan, why don't you try to... I'll use my height advantage. Use your height advantage. We'll see what happens. Logan decided to give himself an extra... Oh, Heather hand. immediately just turns. Six Puts inches. Puts her guard. Sta she's standing up. And Heather's out. Of height. Fantastic. Heather immediately went out the aggressor. She is not staying in Tanya's guard. Those of you that know Logan know what I'm talking about. I got that artificial height. It's amazing. I recommend it. Now Heather's on Tanya's back. Heather looking for the submission. Heather's hand fighting. Oh, she's controlling Tanya's arm with her legs. It's two on one right now. Heather has control of Tanya's uh, uh, arm and her legs. Heather crossing her feet. Oh, and the tap. Very good from nice. Heather. Non-stop aggression. Fantastic match, ladies. Beautiful. Heather Herberger with the win. And OT. Congrats.
Thank you. Appreciate yeah, anytime you want, <laughs> kick me off. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Up next, we have Adolfo De La Cruz and Rafael Vega. Very excited. Got the pleasure to roll with Adolfo regularly. Fantastic wrestler. Is he facing it? That's all. Yeah, that's a big camera. Oh, okay. Is the pay-per-view messed up? Probably. And Adolfo is making his way to the match. This is a gi match for the blue belt. Both these guys are very aggressive. This should be a very exciting match to see. And the haircut from Adolfo here. Adolfo always has the looks on point. But especially today with the fresh hair. Oh, yeah. In grappling, uh, your hair is second to none. Oh, yeah. Adolfo bouncing around the mat. We're waiting. And Rafael Vega is making his way to the mat. Looking serious as he comes out. Once again, this is a blue belt match with Rafael Vega and Adolfo De La Cruz. I'm sorry, Rafael Vega. Thank you. Oh, Rafael immediately pulls guard. Nice guard pulled by Rafael. Adolfo posturing up nicely. Rafael looking for that leg. Oh, let's go. Breaks the lapel grip. And Rafael gets it right back. Adolfo is still standing in Rafael's guard. Rafael going for oh, an armbar, arm looks like. And they're back standing. They're Adolfo trying things. to pull guard. Rafael pulling those legs oh, up and not having any of it. Oh. On oh. the plot, plot attempt from Adolfo. Nope, didn't work. Adolfo, Adolfo searching guard. for his legs. That's so good. Rafael pinning his legs down, but Adolfo putting his booty in the air to defend. Double trying to play that flex flexible guard. Can't quite see. Oh, and he's got a lapel. Adolfo does. Let's see. What do you do with it? Adolfo is really good with that lapel work. Rafael's very wisely keeping his feet up, eh? Push Adolfo's feet away. Prevent a sweep. And Adolfo adjusts. It looks like he's getting his groove. Ooh, it looks like Hotfield is pressuring in on the back of Adolfo. Controlling that head and arm. Rafael is trying to circle to the back. Adolfo rolls through. Very nice. Looking for that leg. Looks so like Adolfo's is on that leg. Ooh, might be looking yes. for a knee bar. Toe hold. Oh, look at that. Rafael's a toe hold on Adolfo. We, Rafael is cranking that toe hold. Adolfo's straightening, adjusting, defending. Oh, oh nice. Good job. Just, by the skin of his teeth, gets out of that one. That looked brutal. That was tight. Time. And they're restarting in the middle. That was a tight footlock from Raphael. That hurt me watching. Not me. Well, you know how many feet. <laughs> <laughs> and guard pull immediately from Raphael. Double looking to separate Raphael's guard. Trying to get that knee involved. He needs to sit his butt back with his knee right where it's at. He needs to sit his butt back. Yep, he Nicely has his knee in. By Adolfo. He's got his knee in. I need to get that elbow on his inside of that knee, push and slide that knee through. Nice little knee slice. <laughs> a 
Don't forget that little Pell Grip free. Minute and a half to work. He's going for that knee cut. I think he does have a leg out though. He's in a close guard. Barfield doing a very good job of controlling Dolfo's arms. Keeping that guard in, not letting that knee through. Does not want that knee slice to happen. Look at he's playing spider or spider guard. And he gets a spider guard sweep on Adolfo. Very, very nice sweep. Looks like he's looking for an, might be looking for another toe hold. Yep, he's looking Looks for another like toe it. hold. Oh. Oh, and Adolfo maybe a little into the table. The lockery of his own there. <laughs> Looks like he thought for a heel for a second and then let it go. <laughs> Yeah, heel hooks are not okay, Nikki. Logan. That's why I said he let it go. No, I'm referring to when you heel hooked me in the gi the other day, but. You deserved it. Back to these gentlemen. Oh, Logan, it's back. And they're back. Okay, sweet. We have a good view again. Oh, and Raphael with that sweep. I don't know what it's called, but it was beautiful. I can't see if he has, trying the, arm like can't. has the arm bar attempt. Yeah, we may have been better off not looking at the screen. That is a deep arm bar. 15 attempt. seconds left. I think Adolfo's got his arm in. His arm back. Oh, he rather. got that arm out. Nice. Yeah, footsies. Rafael might be looking for another toe hole. Yeah, he was looking for it. Very nice. They will be going to overtime. EBI OT. Two minutes. And the second best coin flippers back at it. I'll be able to decide what he wants. Here he flipped the coin? Yeah. He might be the best now. If he didn't drop I mean, he it. He had over. that drop. That's I don't true. know. Oh. Raphael is starting on the back of Adolfo. He'll have two minutes to submit or just hold on. Adolfo is very tough to submit from here. Don't know if I've ever successfully done it. Odolfo getting that leg out. Immediately moving right off the bat. And legs out. are out. Beautiful. Oh. Um, Raphael's holding on to a choke. Let's see if he has it. Must have some. Yeah. Oh. And he oh, very good from Raphael. Nice adjustment from Raphael. Odolfo turn in. He's got to come up. Looks like Raphael might have it. Oh, oh and, and he a had tap. a strong little 30 grip seconds. on the end. Odolfo's got 30 seconds or left to answer. Double needs to come out fast. He has 30 seconds. Go. Here we go. Nice body lock. Rafael just needs to hang on, and he has this one. Got that arm around. Got to get that arm off. Left. If, if Adolfo can get that arm off, he can get a bow and arrow. Raphael's holding onto that arm for dear life. And, and that's it. Good match from these gentlemen. Grab a good up to uh, Mr. Vega here because. Rafael Vega. Yeah. Dolfo's pain in the butt, so that's a that's a big win. A submission in overtime. Fantastic yes. match. Very good work. Very good match for these two. Up next we have Abigail Avila against Sarah Martinez. Oh no. We're going back oh, to we're Moose. We're going back to Moose. So I didn't get the full uh, story, but there was some confusion about the rules. That's why there was a delay, I think. But in this match, yes. It looks like um, they're coming out now. I thought maybe they were going to switch uh, opponents, but nope. Moose is coming up next. Owen against Moose. This is going to be good. So it looks like the confusion was Owen thought Moose was a blue belt. He is not because he's under the age of 16. And so leg locks would not have been allowed. Looks like he's a blue belt now. But Moose being the competitor. <laughs> good thing he's, his professor he's got was here. It. Yep. Yes. All right. This is going to be good. Moose in the black gi. What's he weigh? 100 pounds? Ooh. One of the very few people in this world that are actually uh, way less than myself. Yet, look at him, man. He is such a beast. Control in that position.
Oh, Owen oh, looking for an ankle lock. Straight ankle lock. Moose is savvy. Just grabbing that lapel again. Trying to get that sweep. Yeah, Moose going hard for the Delaheva sweep. Owen's doing a great job stuffing it and cutting. Yeah. Owen did a very good job about staying up on his feet. Drop back for another oh, wow. ankle lock. Drop right back for that straight ankle. Owen and wants it. Owen wants that ankle Moose lock. Moose pops right back up. And Owen goes belly down. He's squeezing that ankle lock. Moose back up here. Very good defense. Might be safe for now. Oh, there we go. Fantastic and defense. From Moose. Nice attacks from Owen. Owen with that deep, deep collar that, yeah. grip. I like that deep grip. Moose. He knows. Immediately break the grip, pop up. You can hear his coach yell something, and the Moose immediately does it. Very coachable. Like playing a video game. Uh oh. oh good Owen setting from up Owen. that cross collar. Moose very wisely standing, posturing up, getting away from the danger of the choke, and he aban Owen abandons. Looks like he's gonna try to go for a sweep on the bottom. Moose clears the grip, pushes the knee down, and trying to settle into a side control. Uh, top half guard. Oh, he's doing a very good job of controlling distance, not letting Moose pressure pass him. Yeah, very Owen good. Is not having it. Oh, and once that leg. Moose is not giving it to him. There's a reason his name is Moose. <laughs> Got two and a half left, halfway through this match. Really good grips from Owen, very good control. And come up, yep. Comes right up. Does Owen, and he's looking to pass. He's looking for the knee cut. Needs to get that underhook, though. But Moose has the underhook, so can he pop up or go the other way? Ooh. He's going Moose to his knees. That single. Oh, nice. back up. Yes. Good job. Great awareness by Moose. Man. Not letting him have that underhook. Coming right back up to his feet. Moose pulling guard, grabbing on that leg. Going. Owen trying to transition to the back. Looks like he's looking for a loop choke. Oh, Moose right back up, but is he in danger? No. These guys are looking like a little tornado, just spinning. Owen looking for another ankle lock. Fantastic. Just diving on those. Oh, he's going belly down. Oh, that looks tight. Oh. He's tight. Moose oh. adjusting, defending. It's going the right way. Moose defending very well with these. I know adults would be tapping for away now. earlier than that. Yeah, I'd have been done. Billy, main, oh, my main point. Hmm. <laughs> it's not talking about me. Moose will have a straight ankle of Ooh. his own. Oh, Owen's looking for it. I think Owen's okay with it, so. I think One Moose, minute left. I hope Moose is aware of the time. Moose this needs is to where push, Moose hit, put his right arm under and switch the grips. He needs more leverage. I want to see. <laughs> I want to see them both stand up because Moose hustles with short time. They are swapping savage ankle locks. Oh yeah. It's Owen's turn now, huh? Yep. It's gonna go back to Moose, Moose in a second. To come looks back like. up here. And Thirty seconds left. This place is loud right now. They are screaming for Moose. Back and forth. Owen wants that ankle. Cross collar oh. on the bottom from Owen. Nice job. Is it enough time? I love Ooh, when the competitor is always attacking. Good job. Owen just throwing these submissions in. Nice. It looks tight from here. Looks tight, but is there enough time? Nope. And no overtime. Into overtime. No OT, huh? There's no OT? Oh, I thought you said it. No, 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 no I said into overtime. No, no. Into overtime. Let's see what the second best coin flipper does. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, it looks like Owen is starting on Moose's back. Moose already leaning forward. There we go. Owen ripped him back. He's like, nah, -uh, not Lewis having it. his shoulders. Oh, get now he's twisting. He's gotta break those legs and he'll get out. Just twist. Turn into him. Come up. And he's That's out. It. Good job yeah. from Moose. Good job. <laughs> Knowing Moose, he wants this submission. He does not want to go to the Golden Rule. He's got to get the sub for the win. <laughs> Moose a little overzealous, already uh, fallen. Happened there. And here we go. Looks a little sloppy on the setup from Moose. Let's see what happens. Crossing his feet. Remember, guys, ride time does not matter. He has two whole minutes. Moose needs a submission, but the two minutes doesn't happen. They go to the golden rule. That doesn't happen. Ref's decision. There are no draws. Moose still maintaining the back control. Can't see from this angle the grips too well, but great control by Moose. I can't see where they're fighting the grips. Can't see what grips he has. Moose still on that back. I've had Moose on my back. It is not funny. He's a little back. No. Yeah, you would think that you just shake a little stinker like that right off, but no. He hangs on tight. He won't let you out. Oh, and tying up one of the, is Owen's right arm here. It was a specialty of his coach, Chad Bingham. Loves tying that arm up. Oh, that looks tight. Look like that hand is slipping from Owen. And he oh, gets it deeper, switches to the rear Owen naked has. for the finish. This place is going insane. Oh yeah, Moose has a lot Pom -poms of fans Pom-poms through here. on the that green belt. Fantastic. Oh, they threw the green yeah, belt on the mat. In that blue. Establishing. Ooh. Whoa. That's a lot. <laughs> Fantastic match. This place is hyped. Little shenanigans going on there. <laughs> Alfredo, uh, great show of sportsmanship. Great show of sportsmanship. Everybody going wild for these kids. Alfredo is currently clarifying these guys had a special rule set because of the belt situation. They both followed it. That was fantastic. And they will not be getting CBD products as he reiterated. Because <laughs> they are underage. We have a guest commentator coming to take my place here pretty soon. Um, shall we leave it a mystery, Logan? Or? Let's leave it a mystery. Okay. That's always better. I think he's all right at jujitsu. Oh. Oh, there you go. No, you're good. Oh, you broke it. It's not you. Okay. And up now we're back onto the list of, I'm pretty sure we're going to Abigail Avila against Sarah Martinez. I think this is, is this the, uh, the tournament? Tournament? Yeah, Alfredo was just saying, Alfredo was just saying that something like that. This is the tournament and it looks like, um, I think the winner of this match will advance. I'll, I'll see if I can get some clarification here. Abigail Avila making her way to the mat is Sarah Martinez. Up, 
He's lays aggressive looking at those grips. Sarah jumps for that guard. Ooh, she might be throwing in a triangle already. Has that triangle deep, needs to adjust, get off to that side, get that angle. Abigail is circling, not giving her that angle. Fantastic. Nice pressure from Sarah. Okay, so this is kicking off our blue purple tourney. We have a eight lady bracket here. 141 and a half pounds or less. Nice triangle, still has that triangle on. Oh, she just got a little bit more of adjustment. She's cutting that angle. That looks tight. I would have tapped by now. <laughs> it's because you have no neck, though. That's true. You're not wrong. I was late. I was, I was watching the match. This is exciting here. It looks like... Uh, can't see from here. I can't see which one's which now. <laughs> but it looks really good. <laughs> Pressuring on top. It looks like if she can uh, get to one side or another, she might be able to pass those legs. Just trying to collect them up. Very good guard on bottom. Not giving her an inch. Oh, I hate my opponents do this. I normally just pick them up and throw them, <laughs> throw them into turtle. Like, no, I'm not playing this flexible stuff. Yeah, you're one of a kind with that, I gotta say. I hate it when you just throw me around. <laughs> it's the benefit of being a big guy. And she passes into side control. Nice pressure. Got that form across the throat. Oh. Is that Keep a little neon chin there? Oh, no, I can't like tell. Uh, elbow. Elbow, knee, elbow. He's throwing that knee up. It works, I mean. She's got that forearm across the throat right now. Very uncomfortable. If you not, have not been there, I do not recommend it. Yeah, a little neon chin here. We are not baking cakes here, so... Sometimes things get a little rough, and that's okay. <laughs> Her belt grip on top. Is she gonna circle back, circle around for the back? It looks like. Looks like she got one hook in. Oh, but she rolled yeah, to her back. Okay, didn't get bottom. her back. You got one minute and fifty seconds left. A lot of pressure fighting from these ladies. Oh, she's getting passed on top. Finally inching past the half guard into side control. And again, setting up that grip. High on the lapel. I wonder if she's trying to set up a choke or just to advance her position here. So from here, I'd like to get that form across the throat and then I kick my leg and my forearm. And actually, you can choke them out pretty easily from there. I don't know what yeah. it's called, but it works really well. Well, again, you're one of a kind, so, sir, so. <laughs> it happens, thank Not you. everybody can choke <laughs> people out from there, you know? But yeah, congratulations to be you. <laughs> she could be looking for an Ezekiel. Wait, she's using that form? Nope, not anymore. Looks like she's going for a Kimura now. She's going to try to tie up the arm. Or she's going she's for the belt. belt. I can't. No, she got, oh no, she's she tying corner. up her arm with the belt. Ooh, that's tricksy. I like it. I like, yeah, oh. I like that a lot. That's fantastic. And she moves around to uh, somewhat of a north-south. Oh, and she has a loop? I think she might have the lapel. 
Oh, oh just, just out, out of out. time. I wish there was another 10 seconds there to see what would have happened there. And the Chad, best coin flipper. with the serious coin flip. He would be number one, but he dropped it. So <sighs> unless Chewy drops it, Terrible. Chad will stay number two. Chewy's has a lot of experience on him, though. I know. I don't. I don't think uh, he's gonna drop it. Oh wait, that's not true. What was that? Just rip some tape off or something. I forgot about all of the. Uh, Chad has a long time repping. Forget about the before times. <laughs> before COVID. <laughs> I can't see what grip she has. It looks like, oh, she's got nope, good control, control still. Oh, she's slipping out on the Looking bottom. for that loop choke. Oh, look, go for the bone arrow. Oh, switch to a triangle. Oh, still going because it's a mission. That was a smooth transition. From bone arrow to triangle with no in between. Fantastic. Looks tight. Broke her posture. Let's get that arm across. And she tapped. Nice. Beautifully done. <laughs> A chance to redeem. Let's see what happens. Have to submit. In less time. See what game she plays. Either she's gonna be super defensive or try and get out immediately. Once again, can't see the grips. I don't know how much time passed in that first overtime round, but Coming up pretty soon. He's got a few more seconds left to submit. Trying to slam in that choke. Time. Fantastic match from these ladies. And Sarah Martinez, winner Sarah in Martin. overtime. And she will advance to the semifinals. Next round. And next, Brie Medina against Victoria Alva. Heather. <laughs> You look good, especially because she's so much taller than you're doing. You're doing the right thing with the arm drives. Yeah, I see. That's what I like to do. I gotta commit to someone over there or get down for a single one. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about the. I'll show you. Show me later. Like arm drag and then push them back because they're coming into you. She defends by moving back. So then you push out of shoulder and then double leg, boom. Just push, get them on their heels, right? Yeah, exactly. And Brie Medina is on the mat. My legs are currently all tangled <laughs> with the wires. My headphones got uh, tangled in your legs. I may be tall, but the downside is these legs get tangled. <laughs> I'd blame Billy if anything broke. It was my fault. Here we go, the blue and belts Victoria are up. Victoria Alva made her way to the mat. Brie Medina against Victoria Alva. <laughs> Both ladies establishing grips. Dina looks like she's trying to come up from the bottom. Oh, nice. beautiful 
took her the other way and came up. Ooh, Medina Ooh, stepped over. Cut the half guard and slides. Nice knee slice. Oh, right. To Those are some smooth transitions. So smooth. Medina inside control on top. Looking to control those hips. Keep her from bridging. Looks like she might try to Knee on belly. An arm or no further her uh, position here. It was like Victoria was trying to trap her foot in half guard. Did not work. Bree is controlling from side control. Medina doing a good hand controlling that far side hand so it, she can't come up. Mm -hmm. Bree slides right into full mount. But uh, Victoria did, did catch that foot. Oh, and the foot's gone. Back to side control, north south for Medina. She's collected the arm. Nope. Breeze control in this position. Looks like Medina collected the arm on the opposite side there. That she, she loves that knee on belly. To further her position. She's gonna go knee on belly and maybe go over to mount again. No. It is the worst when you cannot get your opponent off you like this. Back to side control. Just sliding all over. Medina has very good control. To Victoria's credit, she's not letting Bree do anything. Oh, and Medina to mount. Bree is just flowing through different positions. Not forced in anything. Great, great find from Bree. Really controlling the hips and legs. I just noticed Victoria. we have a new ref. Mr. Antoine Green Gibson himself. He was uh, commentating last weekend. What's he on good, the coin flipping scales? Um, that, that is it to be determined. Chad might get bumped down. Mm hmm. He might be third place. <laughs> oh! Dina climbing for the triangle. Victoria not letting her posture be broken. Oh, and Victoria just passing herself now. Fantastic. Slide right into side control. Got about a minute and 15 left. See what she could do here with the. Oh, Medina sucks her back in for a half guard. She might try to come up again. She can do the same thing. Oh, looking for she your drives guillotine. forward. Arming guillotine. Medina on top now. Guillotine, but it's not. I'm not the right side. The, nah. the leverage there. She could go for a Von Flew. Victoria's still holding on that. Oh, she let go of the guillotine. On top, yeah. 45 seconds. Looks at the clock. Ooh, might be looking for a Kimura. Americana. Ooh, Americana. Nice. Oh, wow. And. That's it. Oh, verbal tap. Nice. Beautifully Fantastic done by Medina. Very good. What a great back and forth from these ladies. And up next, we have Kelsey, the triangle trap queen Carter. <laughs> Kelsey, queen triangle, killer Kels. <laughs> you name it. So triangle, yeah. Against Sienna Ocha. Yeah, Ocha first. Come on out. Kelsey, the triangle trap queen, making her way to the mat. Oh, Kelsey first, yes. Kelsey coming out. Kelsey is 2020 Pan Am champion. Uh, what else did she get? This, these ladies' tournament is insane. A lot of high-level ladies here. It's just on a spree. Other than that, these super fights, Kelsey's been on any and every show she can get in and winning quite frequently. New purple belt. 
and Sienna Ocho is making her way to the mat. Billy, have any predictions for this match? No. No? Okay. <laughs> In all fairness, I, I don't know Sienna, so. No, I know. That's what I, I know. I, didn't, I, didn't I know, know Kelsey, or not. and uh, I obviously roll with Kelsey a lot, and she is a force to be reckoned with. I'm excited for this match. I've heard good things from about Sienna. Let's see if Kelsey pulls guard. <laughs> get it, Kelsey, get it. Please feeling each other out. Oh, and she just got a hold of that gi. Okay, okay. I have she a prediction. Controlling that pant leg does not want to let that go. I predict that Kelsey's going to try to triangle her. Surprise, surprise. It's like me saying I'm going to footlock someone. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing a very good job about not letting her get pulled to them. Yeah, Logan's a cheater because uh, he'll footlock you the bejesus out of you, but can't pull up him. I was trying to break that posture down. He's going to try to break those grips. Kelsey with the nice lapel grip controlling. Kelsey with the body, or a body triangle from guard. A little bit of hand fighting going on. Oh, Kelsey patiently setting up. Grabbing over the shoulder. Really controlling the head of Sienna. There you go. And Kelsey might switch to a cross collar. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Called it, Billy. Nice. Sienna's either going to posture out. There she is. Or Kelska, maybe, maybe that's not quite deep enough grip. <laughs> Kelsey doing a great job bringing her in for the finish. Kelsey trying to readjust that grip for that cross. I just think her right hand grip may not be too quite shallow. deep enough. Yeah. This is really good because usually they'll have to posture up to defend, and that's when Kelsey's uh, going to shoot that Her triangle. signature comes in. Yep. Sienna looked like she knew that game plan is playing it beautifully. Here we go, see? Second Sienna starts to barely posture up. Kelsey's already adjusting. Kelsey listening to her corner. Once again, by playing a video game. See the nod. A little over two minutes left. Kelsey's still very patient in her setup. Just got Sienna on the run. I mean, Sienna has just kind of been defending the whole time. Just got to break that grip posture up. And look like they're going to recenter him. <laughs> and that's dragging him back to the center. <laughs> Good job, Antoine, man. He's my way. That's that's not easy. <laughs> I'm not I'm making any jokes about that. I'm not getting beat up by either one of these ladies. <laughs> yeah, there's a number of things Logan wanted to say about Kelsey that he is refraining from. Because uh Kelsey She'll beat me up. Kick his ass. Oh, she's working that lapel magic. I like it. Got about a minute 15 left. Minute 15 seconds. Oh, oh look, got the lapel. Yes, yes, yes. Now the. Oh. Sienna got her arm free. Oh, oh nice. Beautiful. Got 50 seconds. Kelsey's gonna use that for control seconds. and or choke. 
Good wrist control from Sienna. 40 seconds. Sienna defending very wisely. Fighting the hands. There we go. Good defense from Sienna. Right oh, oh man. Oh man. She looked for Sienna a with the foot. Sorry, go Chelsea for that heel savvy. Hook. Dip it. Fifteen seconds. See what happens. Kelsey very well using that forearm to keep Sienna's head down. She can't extend with that leg. Time. These nice ladies are gonna go to ladies. Oh, and he doesn't even count. Okay, so what do we count this as? Because he perfectly. That's a different tactic, different method, huh? I like that though. It's like catch wrestling do jiu jitsu. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> catch wrestling. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like my neck. Well, that's because you got a skinny one. You guys start working out. Man. I don't know. I don't know why I said neck. I'm mean, not like catch wrestling. <laughs> I just, for some reason, every time I wrestle, I try to. Oh, and here's a change up starting oh, in the spider. The first spider web of the day. There she is. Fantastic. Sienna has Kelsey in the spider web. And it's going. Time's going. I don't know if they realize time's going. I think she does. Oh, She's yeah, they do. Now yeah, they're just, okay. Patiently setting up the arm bar. Slowly wiggling that arm deeper and deeper. Smart move by Sienna because she goes any, uses any kind of explosion Kelsey's going to get out. Sienna has her feet crossed on top. Nice control there. Keeping her feet. Heavy. Trying to just shake it, shake, shake it free. Trying these little adjustments. She start using her feet to get that arm off. Yeah, she's working on her grip. You're not going to break that grip from there. You got to get those feet involved. Use her body. Got to use her body weight to uh, peel that thing off. Get that elbow yep, tight in. Feet. There she goes. Good job, Sarah. Kelsey's coming right up, but still in danger. Got that pressure down. Kelsey's got to get her arm out of there. Oh, see, I grab that leg, let go of the arm. Kelsey looking at the clock. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. Mm hmm. Thirty seconds left. They're yelling some questionable advice currently. I don't want to. I don't want to repeat it. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, Kelsey. Fifteen seconds. Kelsey content just to ride this out. Confident she's gonna get the submission. And that's it. Okay. Let's see what. It is Kelsey's turn. So Kelsey has to offer. Let's see what happens. Kelly, Ke Kelsey, Killer Carter, Triangle, y'all behind. Solid. A little. Uh, You're very eloquent today. I don't want to explain what I saw going on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Are we have our batteries here. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Oh. And Kelsey, Kelsey like going with the spider too. web as well. Interesting. A little more aggressive approach from Kelsey. Sienna's hopping around. Yeah, Sienna actually really, really trying to get right out from the get-go. Kelsey remaining calm. I hate being an arm bar like Kelsey because she will bite down and give you a bicep slicer. Mm -hmm. No compunctions Dirty about tricks. that. Kelsey content trying to wear Sienna out a little bit here, I think. Keeps her grip tight, and now she's going to start peeling. She's going to try to get that foot around Kelsey's head. Kelsey starting to peel the arm. Oh, Kelsey's got that foot here involved now. Here we go. Now. She adjusts her grip. She's got a little gable grip oh, on the bicep. Oh, it's slowly slipping. Is that that bicep slicer you're talking oh, about Sienna there, Logan? Oh, Sienna blocking very nicely. Ish. Oh, Kelsey's got that arm free. And 
Almost. Sienna readjusts. Good job from She's going to get the wrist grip here. Oh. Wrist lock. And she's out. And she's out. Good These shot, ladies are going to go to Golden, Golden Rule. Rule. First one to score points. If nothing happens here in the two minutes, it goes to ref's decision. Here we go. First Double one overtime wins. Come on, Kelsey, first. Here, Kelsey, get it. Crowd's being very vocal with their advice. This ladies in no rush here. We got a minute 40 left. I have a feeling that we're going to see some explosion here in a minute. Sienna going for an arm drag and Kelsey pulling. Good sportsmanship by Kelsey. Making sure she's okay. And she's coming up the mount. Can she stabilize? And she does. Good job, Kelsey. Good job, Fantastic Kelsey match Kelsey Killer Kelsey Carter. And Sienna. Fantastic match. These ladies are so high level. Kelsey will advance to the semis. Exciting match. Very vocal crowd for Kelsey. And up next is Barbecue Rose against Lynn Lee. I'll go get our uh, guest guy. And you want some, I'll get you some food. Oh, do you want to go eat first? No, no you're good. I'm Josh and then. If you want, if you want, dude, you're not hungry. You mean you're not hungry? I got a lot of fat. You look hungry. No, I'm not. No, the thing that it's a uh, dude. Yeah. For you, I don't know. And we're, and we're back. We're back. We're okay. going to have our guest commentator come up, but you're going to have to hold out just a little longer for that surprise. And up next is Barbara Kiros against Lynn Lee. I have not got to train with Barbara, but I have got to oh, train with Lynn. Lynn a little bit. Lynn is a vicious attacker, very slick. Another absolute beast out of the Maxwell Academy. And Barbara Kiros has made her way to the mat. Lynn Lee is on her way next. Here comes Lynn. And here's Lynn. I as well have trained with Lynn, but not Barbara. Very slick grappler. And very yes, slick. Lynn is very, very crafty. And a great walkout song. There's been a lot of good lockout songs. Oh, These yeah. guys have way better music choice than me. Good. Yeah, that's good. I listen to terrible music. Right off the bat, they're going. Or pulls, tried pulling guard. Lynn sat back. I feel like Lynn might go for a straight ankle at some point or another. Well, she has that ankle. But Barbara's not letting go of those lapels. Oh, just as I said it. <laughs> oh, nice little Delaheva hook with by Lynn. She's also a Baron Balor. Yeah. <laughs> Very flexible roller. Baron Barlowin. Can she come up on it? Trying to pull Let's to her find back. out. Ooh, Barbara looking for the leg. Barbara defending very well. Pummeling her legs back in. And putting it back to neutral. Oh, nice job by Barbara coming up and almost just flinging the leg right aside, but... Lynn not having it. She is now 
on top, ready to pass. Or she's going to go straight for her footlock. I can't see. I no, she's trying to address that grip. Barbara's a very good grip on that, on that arm. Yeah. Barbara out and right back at it. Lynn on top, trying to circle for the back. Barbara Turtle trying to get those hooks in. Using her head as a base right now. Lynn trying to work those grips in. Ooh, looks like Lynn's got that arm. Trying to adjust for the arm bar, it looks like. She's oh, getting those hooks arm. in. Which looks like at our toe, in. okay. Now she's gonna, get that hook she's in. gonna use it for the back take. Beautiful, one hook. Slick. He's gonna work that other hook in any minute. Unless, of course, she has something else in mind. Might flip her first. Or she might just be really working the choke. Can't tell from this angle. As you can. It's a great technique. It's to threaten with the choke to get your second hook and vice versa. She might be going for a triangle. She's got that arm isolated. Arm bar, maybe? Triangle from the oh, nope. back, adjusting very, very wisely. She could have gone for the arm bar, but it would be risky. She could have lost the position, so she adjusts, maintains a great position on top. Barbara's got a great hold of Lynn's uh, wrist. Ah, that was preventing it all, huh? Couldn't see that little tidbit, huh? That's what I love about jujitsu. Every little detail can make a world of difference. And they're both back to their feet. Barbara pulling immediately. It's like, is that leg over her shoulder? No. And Lynn is sitting in Barbara's guard. I feel like Liz, oh, there is, that lens controlling that moving. posture is Barbara. So Barbara might be going for that Ezekiel. Can't see her bottom arm in. Nope. Really tough to finish that from the bottom. I only know one person that could do that. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love it. No gi as well. No joke. He got me in a, what do you call it? No gi keel? Yep. From the bottom. It's can't believe I'm admitting that. Don't worry, I've gotten a lot of people with that one. No maybe, maybe we catch a break here. I'll, I'll explain uh, the Ballad no of Logan. Lynn going to her to the seat, seated position, and she's going for a straight ankle. Didn't have quite the bite on the foot there. Everyone keeps doing the same thing with straight ankle locks and biting down the same arm, same side. You got to cross arms. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, I think the last one they went, they leaned to the wrong side. Well, it's, a, it's the lean, but it's also using. You can get a tight lock with the same side, but it gets so much tighter. If you cross body, you get the other arm to oh, go yeah. under, and then you rear naked and choke that grip. Spider guard from in here, and that's time. Nice. Very fun match from these ladies. Now we're going to overtime. That time just snuck up on me. I had no clue. <laughs> I think this coin flipper has brought Chad to the number two coin flipper. Sorry, Chad, you've been demoted. Oh, don't, don't worry. <laughs> He's right here. We're gonna get beat up on Monday. We already know this. Looks like Lynn is getting Barbara's back. And another spider web position. For Lindley. Here we go. Overtime. These ladies very good at this position. Keeping that bite very tight. And keep her feet on the ground there.
Barbara working her way up, kind of rocking back and forth. Lynn, a very, very tight grip on that arm. She's not going to make it easy. Got that foot in the crook of Barbara's arm, right in the crook of the elbow, trying to get that some distance. Oh, yeah, I see. Good adjustment from Lynn. Push that away to collect the arm. And she adjusts to keep the position. Very good, the pit of her knee on the on the mouth there. Very good control by Lynn on top. She's a sucker top leg back into Barbara's chin. Look at her to move her arm. She's a suck that heel back to Barbara's head. Ooh, good defense from Barbara. Barbara's oh, up arms and out. And did she tap? Oh, that's, that's not a I don't know. No, no, she's out. Now Barbara's starting on Lynn's back. Let me catch that time, but probably a minute and a half. Lynn really trying to push through, trying to get her head to the mat. And going towards the wall. That wall's not going to do them or Lynn any favors. She's adjusting her angle, listening to her coach, driving her to the left. Lynn maintaining great control here. Really controlling that wrist. Keeps adjusting your grips. And Lynn's almost out. And Lynn's out. Good job from these ladies. Very technical. And we're going to be going to the golden rule. First to score points. First to score wins. Here we go, final OT. Both these ladies put in a lot of work. Looks like they're both looking to counter right now. Hmm. And tried pulling guard. Nice, Lynn gets triangle attempt. A triangle, the arm's still in there. Barbara's got that arm in, very nice. Barbara's trying to turn around and get to her back. Barbara's trying to throw her there legs by. There we go, by. nice. Lynn's she's got keeping a triangle. Legs up. She's got the arm in there too. This looks deep, she's got the posture down. Can't tell if she has the arm across, but looks pretty good. Barbara's sitting back in that triangle. She's got Might have that arm. First. Yeah, you need a pretty big squeeze bill to finish that. If Lynn adjusted her feet, just adjusted the triangle the other way, or just come right up to mount, Good and that's job it. Lynn. That was very nice. Beautifully done by Lynn Lee. Fantastic. Crafty practice. Both these ladies are very well. Very well. Lynn is moving on. Good job. They're both competitors. Up next, we have Brett Baker against Eder Flores. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Brett Baker stepping it up lately in his training. Once again, the pleasure of training with Brett a lot. Fantastic grappler. His way to the mat is Brett Baker. Very crafty grappler. Loves throwing those Kimuras at you. Basically, Brett, if you see a Kimura, ignore it because he will trap you. Next up, we have Eater Flores. 
And making his way to the mat is Eder Flores. Very exciting matchup. He's a very fast-paced grappler. I was very excited for this match. Ooh, great walkouts on. And back to the number one coin flipper, Chewy for the ref. Had to run out there getting those butterflies out, getting those energy. And this match is about to start. Oh, yeah. There we oh, go. Brett, Brett sitting drops. immediately. Like, trying to go for that half guard. Oh, he's going for the arm. Brett going for that Kamara grip. You to play it nice and calm. Let so me get that bite first. And keep it tight and try to use it for a sub or sweep. A lot of people think you'll, you'll if you hold on this one too long, you'll gas. Brett will not gas from that position. He can hold on to this for as long as you let him. Look how strong he is. Yeah. You're not getting that arm back. Mm -mm. It's insanity. And they're talking to each other as they're going. Always fun to see. Very nice to have a friendly chat while you roll or compete. Oh, you're trying to snap up. Oh, Brett, oh Brett's getting Brett the leg, leg the head. over. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he could. Oh, and arm up. That was. He and uses Brett. it to come up. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Beautifully done by Good Brett. Good defense, right eater. Fantastic. Yes, great defense. Came right back up and out. Oh, a nice little scramble there. You're playing in Brett's Ooh. half guard. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Brett looking for that arm again. Brett doing the same setup it looks like. Controlling the posture. Got a knee shield into his left side this time. Brett likes that low knee shield. Allowing you to come across so he can pop you back up. Oh, and almost gets the arm again, but Eder Savvy. Knows it's coming this time. Immediately pulls it back and away. Every time. Got three minutes left here. Either disengage him, coming back in. Brett still staying on his butt. They're trying to see what Brett will bite on. You're attempting the dynamic guard passing. Brett content. We got two minutes, 15 seconds left. There we go. Got an arm now. Let's see if Brett could set up that same. We'll go for something else here. Two minutes. That are looking at the clock. They're trying to do those dynamic passes, but Brett's cutting off those angles. Let's go, Brett! Brett with a hair tie bracelet around his right wrist. Gotta be fashionable. Gotta be ready. Gotta be prepared. Got that deep underhook on the top side. Oh, let go. Watch your control. It's got a little over a minute now to work. About a minute 10 now. Oh, Brett, Ooh, look at that leg. He's got that, he's, he's past the knee line. He's got to get that knee line back. Collecting those hips. Now Brett on Brett's top. Pressure and forward. Nice. Job of Eater clearing that foot and getting out of harm's way. Very good defense. But Brett's looking for that heel. He has that heel trapped. 
Oh no, Edu's looking for oh, a heel hook of his own. Heel. Yes. Tip for tat here. This is when things could. 20 get seconds ugly. left and both have heel hooks. Let's see what happens. Oh, Brett oh. has a deep one. He's got to turn his hip. Oh, he's got he's his got knee line pass. He's got to set up calf slicer. 10 seconds remains. Eat a pressure and forward. You're known. It's a fantastic leg lock battle. And these boys are going to overtime. Overtime number one. You're starting on Brett's back. Two minutes to submit or get out. There we go. Brett immediately going to going down for the violent escape. But defending those hands, not really worrying about the legs right now. He just got to be careful crossing his legs. Oh, good job. Nice adjustment. Very good adjustment reader. Press cleared one hook. To his shoulders here. He's got to pop up. He's got to spin those hips. Pop up and into him. No, not away, Red. There we go. And that's it. Very good. 45 seconds. Not that it matters because, once again, ride time doesn't matter. Rad time doesn't matter at all. We need some mission. Brett's got two minutes or less. Ooh, and he's going and to Spiderweb 2. Spiderweb. Not a surprise here, because Brett will rip your arm off. Oh, he's already got the arm out. And, oh, 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 good and, oh just eater. at the very end, it looks like you Good defense from Eater. Very nice. Turned his hand just in the nick of time and got out. Okay, now we're going to the golden rule. First to score. The golden rule. And these boys are going minutes. at it, and Brent right back down. <laughs> you have a dynamic pass. Nice, Brett keeping him on the out. You're still trying to cut that corner. Brett coming up. If you could dump him on his butt, he wins. Oh, Brett's a very nice. All right. And Brett gets into overtime. Golden rule. Fantastic match, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we have another precision standout, Brian Beckman, against Guillermo Mendez. Very excited for this match. And Billy English signing off for a bit here. And here comes your guest commentator. And please. And Brian's making his way to the mat. Brian Beckman. This is another gi match. And please welcome to the mic. We have Josh Hingers making his way here. How's your day going, Josh? What up, motherfucker? Oh, sorry, sorry. Kids are watching. Sorry. <laughs> You're good, man. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what, what got a hold of me. Oh, you're good. All right, so we got a screen here. Great, because, uh, man, there's so many people in here. It's hard to see um, from the back. Oh, yeah. No, got to be tall to see from the yeah. back right now, man. So this is this screen is shot is way better. Oh, yeah. Well, currently got Brian Beckman. Uh, he's going against Guillermo Mendez. Uh, is Brian the local boy? Uh, the, yes, th this sir. This is his home gym, right? Yes, oh, yeah, sorry. He trains out of Precision Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, sorry. Precision. Okay. And, and there's the, Guillermo. The challenger. Guillermo. Yeah. Guillermo looks very large. They are both. Like, you've never large, seen large, large men. Okay, so I need some clarification on the the rules. Let's hear it's it. Submission only, right? Yes. And then they do one round of EBI overtime. Yes, sir. And if no submission happens, they go into the golden score. Yes, this sir. Is correct. Yep. And then if that doesn't, ha if nothing happens there after two minutes, it, they it's ref decision. Ref decision. Okay, yeah. that's cool. It's like a combination of every rule set that yeah. ever existed. <laughs> it's, I like it just because you're giving the athletes every chance yeah. not to get a draw. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's the worst when you get a draw. Yeah. If you go to the ref decision, like. Something went bad. Yeah, it's like, okay, one of you guys got to push the pace. Or you just had two monsters that gassed themselves. Yeah. 
No, it's been cool, man. It says uh, this is the first right. tournament. Oh. Ryan's a very deceptive wrestler. It feels like honey on you. It's like, oh, I can get away from this. And then you just don't. He's an explosive big man, isn't he? Yeah. Very nimble, but plays a very flexible game. He'll roll up like a panda. It's really? Kinda, it's kind of crazy. It's a scary thing when you find a big guy who can do little guy jujitsu. That's t yeah. it's terrifying. You, that's Brian's probably one of the better guys yeah. at that. It's kind of insane. Yeah. Um, Gutenberg is like that. He, he's a very large man, and he has very, oh. very good little guy jujitsu. Yeah. He moves very well <laughs> like a little guy. But Gamo doing very good about defending, keeping up, not letting Brian melt him over. Yeah, he's not conceding. Everyone loves that half guard lately. Well, at, when I when I'm playing it in half guard, the goal I think uh, is to not, if you're on bottom, yeah. is to not let him clear your knee shield. Mm -hmm. And Guillermo definitely does not have his knee shield, not right? At all. What's the other guy's name again? Brian. Brian. So Brian, uh, he cleared the knee, and he's already chest chest to chest, almost chest to stomach, I guess you could say. Um, that's a great position for him, bro. What I would do is I would take my left hand. See that left hand going under that yeah. armpit? I would have stuck at that underhook in there on the left side, the near side underhook. This is something I try to teach. Mm -hmm. um, near, oh, there we go. Ooh, nice little deep half sweep there. That's something the big guys are very good at is, is playing that deep half guard. It's always surprising, especially when you get a big guy. Once again, we mentioned again having that little guy's skill. You don't expect him. You always expect these big explosive movements. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it would have been nice to see um, to see Brian go for that near side underhook. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, it's underutilized in jiu-jitsu. Everyone always wants the far side underhook, but yeah. man, the near side underhook is wonderful. I like playing the near side with a I actually do a low knee shield just because not having feet, like, I can get under you real quick. Yeah, so it yeah. works really well for me. What belt level are you? Purple. Purple, cool. That's a good level, man. Purple's it's great. It's where you it's where you develop your jiu-jitsu identity. You 100%. know, you start developing your own style. Basically, people know me as an asshole who leg locks people. You're <laughs> <laughs> like a leg locker, are you? Oh, yeah. I think not having the feet, having the long limbs really makes it beneficial. Bro, you don't have feet? Nah. Whoa. I'm, I'm left the them at home or what? Oh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> what I'm, the fuck? I'm built like the, per I'm the perfect <laughs> leg locker. I got the full limbs, just no foot. That's so cool. People hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, they can't submit you. <laughs> Half your body. They, they, they hate it. Trust me. Um, I used to train with this guy named Kyle Maynard. And yeah, I know. I you know, know Kyle Maynard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't you couldn't submit him at all. Like, no, the only thing you could do is choke him. Yeah, it's the worst. And he had those. He had his arm stopped right at the elbow. Yep. And he would stick it in your thigh, bro. Oh, my God. It was so painful. Like Nick, uh, when you roll with Nick Newell, he does that. Th he's just so good about that little nub. Yeah, he sticks neck. that it's, nub in there. It's yeah. deceiving. Yeah, we got a buddy back at Autos named uh, Jeff Real. Okay. The one-handed bandit, we call yeah. him. And his his arm stops right here mid-forearm. Mm -hmm. And, bro, if he sticks that nub in your neck, it's it right is this. awful. It's terrible. It's awful. These, these big guys are loving that half guard. They're just swapping back yeah. and forth. Yeah, so we got Brian. Brian's back on top, huh? Yes, sir. But no sweet points because we don't do points here. It's a submission only. Just the way I like it. Yeah, we'll see. Uh We'll see what Guillermo can pull off from the bottom. I think it's I think it's quite easy to to hunt for submissions from the bottom half guard. Yeah. You know, there's the guillotine, there's the Kimura. I love that mirror. What's line. up, big dog? How are you doing? Doing well, man. Thank you, Master World. Is that what you're talking about? This <laughs> is the only thing I did this year. <laughs> Thank you. What's new? Yeah, things are good, bro. Just uh, commentating matches and yeah. They're still hanging out in half guard. Brian trying to work his way up. <laughs> um, I used to uh, when I was a when I was a blue and purple belt. I would get to this half guard position and get with my buddy, my buddy Jason Bukic, and I would always try to attack that arm lock, the straight arm yeah. lock from half guard. And he used to always talk shit to me, and he would be like, "Bell, it's not gonna work. You yeah. know, it's not gonna work." And one, I, I tried it probably a hundred times, and then eventually I got it. And he was a he was a black belt, I think, and I was purple, and I got him with it eventually. And he was just baffled. He's that <laughs> that shouldn't work. I said, bro, <laughs> this is jujitsu. Anything can work if you manipulate it enough. That sounds like three quarters of my game. Everyone's, everyone says the moves I do should not work. Yeah. I'm like, nope. I'm telling you that. Uh, I like that mirror lock from half guard. Yeah. Because everyone, if you don't get it, everyone does the same. They rip back. And they yeah. rip back. That leg comes up. Uh -huh, you scoop cool. it. Yeah, yeah. Every time. It's my favorite. So that was the end of the uh, regulation period, yes, right? Looks like they deferred to Brian. Brian's going to pick. And So they do a coin flip, Yeah. Right? Going to Spiderweb. I did EBI one time. 
How'd you like it? Uh, EBI 3. Yeah. yeah oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, early, early, early EBI. And uh, it was a great time. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. And um, But Spiderweb was my choice. Yeah. It was my, my, I, uh, I remember I won the um, quarterfinals and semifinals in overtime with the Spiderweb. And I, I got the arm and, and arm locked them. And then the finals, I, cho- I chose the back because mm. uh, I wanted to rack up the ride time. Yeah. It was against Gary Tonin. Okay. So I took the back position and I tried to, and I racked up about five minutes. Oh, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Oh. <laughs> he's letting Brian suck that arm back. He's going to grab that collar. Grab his oh. collar. Oh, 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 oh. Is he going to get out? Is he going to get out? <sighs> I think he's. I can't is see he tapping? Is he tapping? His knee's blocker. I can't really see. Oh, shit. Oh, he got that elbow through. Oh. Oh, he's rocking their We Defied shirt, too. I love those guys. Gamer is not letting this go. That's a, oh, I was okay. going to say that. Yeah. I think he's out of danger. Okay. <laughs> so what made you pick uh, Spiderweb over going to the back? Um, yeah, so I just, I don't, I was, I was always just, I felt like it's easier to, to armbar someone than it is to choke them from the back. Yeah. Like people, their back defense is so strong, yeah. you know, across the board. Everybody has, has better yeah. back defense than I think they do armbar defense. Um, but I switched over to the spider or the back control and I messed it up, man. Yeah. I should have stuck with the arm. <laughs> it's the whole fun of jujitsu. Yeah. You mess things up, now we get to do it a second time, hopefully another time. Yeah, I live and learn. And Brian's on Guillermo's back, but it looks like Guillermo's rolling through. Oh, but Brian switches to an arm bar. So the amount of time is irrelevant, yep. right? Who escapes matter. quicker doesn't matter, it doesn't right? Matter. It's just yep. as long as they, they both have a shot at submitting each other, they escape, and now they're going to go to the golden score. We'll see what happens because Brian did get Guillermo down the last time. So Now, for this, do they always start neutral? I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But they can pull if they yes, want. Yes, they can pull. Yep. Okay. It's just points. So uh, that, I think that's how Kelsey and Brett have won so the last So first two. score, first submission wins. Yeah. Okay. Kelsey and Brett both pulled guard and then trained from half guard, triangle to mount. Interesting. It's kind of like how each venue is having their own rule sets now. You have to really be on your P's and Q's with paying attention to what rules you're uh, grappling with. Yeah, for real. Or just submit everybody. Yeah, that's, that's the easiest one. That's <laughs> and it doesn't easy matter what the rules yeah. are. <laughs> if you don't like paying attention to the rules, you better submit them. Exactly. Yeah, I've always felt that even if I win by points, I don't feel like it's a real win. No. You know? Like, yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it's a win. The horn, but maybe, if it, maybe it's like 15 0, like complete domination. Yeah. I, I feel okay about that. But. Winning by two points, nah, man. No. We should. We got to keep going or do it again or something. I completely agree. Oh, oh, he's gonna suck that leg up, suck that leg up, drive into it. Brian's such a deceptive wrestler. It's insane. Yep, he's got it. He's got the hip down. He's just gotta secure it. Oh, he should switch the other leg. Switch the other leg now. No, Brian, don't give in, Brian. Don't give in. Don't give in. Good job, from Guillermo. That was nice. Looks like they dropped something on the floor. What is that? I think some heel skin. I have no idea. I think uh, one of the coaches is uh, disputing the, <laughs> the decision about the takedown. I don't know. It was a quick call, man. I, I, I would probably would have let that one go a little longer. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, like, oh, Bri- Brian really went into it, huh? And then he uh, yeah. got it turned around on him. So what's up? What do you got next? I was wondering. This is the this is the tournament, right? The yes. men's intermediate tournament. Yeah, I think we're, so. Now with, uh, it's the first set of ladies. So I think Billy has it marked down. Oh, there we go. Um, so the first winner was. So let's see. Sarah. And then I believe she's gonna fight Marie. It's like Sarah Martinez is making her way to the mat. Kelsey, she she fights Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey is doing her second match now. Okay, perfect. I'm good, bro. I just ate. Thank you. Yeah. And Brie Medina is making her way to the mat. So this is the second round of the women's tournament, right? Yes, sir. And it's an eight eight person bracket. Yeah. So this is semifinals. Yep. Are they going to do a third place match? Uh, I actually do not know. I would imagine not. I think a lot of places don't. No, I, and I think with how many matches they have going on today. Yeah, there's still like 20 more matches. Yeah. 
and it just gets better and better as the list goes on. Oh yeah, I'm excited to watch Chris, Chris uh, Gabrielson, and um, let's see who is he going up against. I don't even see him on this list. Where is he? Uh, he's uh, the third from the bottom against Jack Montgomery. There it is. Yep, Jack Montgomery. Yep. See, I'm most for Luis Acaria against Daniel Munoz. I don't know if you know Luis, but he's a monster on the mats, and Daniel's also a monster. But Lewis just puts a pace on people that yeah. most cannot match. He's got some cardio. Cardio and just a technician. Yeah. It's exciting to watch. I got a teammate like that, man. It's miserable to train with people like that. That's why I'll feel good. Like, oh, I'm rolling. Then, like, the last minute. <laughs> You're just, rolling, but he's sprinting. Yes. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Brie Medina is in Sarah Martinez's guard right now. Oh, Brie Medina is picking up Sarah. Are they allowed to slam? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I wish. I was watching some fights win last night, bro. They were slamming each other all over the place. Oh. We had some of our ladies on that card too. They were. Yeah, I thought you guys had two two ladies, two wins, yeah, right? Yeah, Killjoy and uh, Liz. Nice. Congratulations yeah. to them. Fantastic. I had a teammate on there last night also. How'd she do? Uh, she won. It was the last match of the oh, night. Yeah, yeah, Rafaela yeah. against uh, against Baby. Yeah. It was a close match, man. Baby's very good. You know, I have a lot of respect for her, but Rafaela pulled it off. I, people are just getting so much better nowadays. Man. It's insane to watch. Like the, even littler cards with no big names. Oh, for are sure. Monsters. For sure. A blue belt now compared to a blue belt 20 years ago is just another level. Oh, and it's a complete in, yeah. another level. Like, I think blue belt me against some of the blue belts today, mm -hmm. like back in the day, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, they're, it's, <laughs> it's just basically murderers. They're, they're right. technicians, bro. It's like Sarah's hunting for that foot. Can't see what Bree's trying to grab. I've been saying a lot of these guys have been doing with that straight ankle lock, but no one's going cross body. So not able to get enough torque right now. Yeah. I, I like it when people um, step on the hip from the 50-50 yeah. ankle lock and they put both feet on that hip yeah. and then you really get the extension. That's, I think that's really the best way to do it. A lot of guys it, are just extending a little too yeah. early. I'm also short, you know, so I, I have a hard time, like, getting that extension yeah. on people, you know. Um, so I, I have to get both my feet on their hips yeah. to, to get that 50-50 foot lock. Well, that's why, like, instead of having them go straight on, I like getting that cross body, because you can really crank yeah. that forearm and get that wrist into the back of their Achilles. Oh, you mean scoop the foot with your opposite arm? Yeah, so you yeah, can yeah, get a deeper naked on the other side. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. So when you go out to your matches, you always uh, you always start off on on uh, your butt, your hips. You just no, pull I guard. I start on my stumps. You start, oh yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. and then but do you fight for takedowns or do you just yeah. usually pull guard? Well, most people don't expect me to wrestle. I'm yeah. actually a pretty good wrestler. Are you, are you surprised on them? Yeah, <laughs> and they, they don't. Know. Everyone like I walk straight, stand straight up, and they'll walk straight up at me. And you just double them up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, double uh, slide by whatever it may be. Nice. They, it's a lot of uh, there's some look of surprise on people's faces. Yeah, priceless. right. Because you know how to attack. Your jujitsu is built to attack everyone, yeah. right? But not everyone trains with someone that doesn't have yeah. legs below the knees. So to like, it's, it's <laughs> strange for them, right? They don't well, know what to do. It's the best. Yeah. yeah, that's like when people trained with Kyle. Like Kyle's jujitsu was made to beat us up. Yeah. He knows what he's doing with us. We don't know what we're doing with him. Not at all. I could just the only thing you try to do is try to triangle the guy. Yeah. But man. My favorite is the look on someone's face when they fall back for a leg lock. I just kind of <laughs> stare at you as you look in shock, like. And you just laugh there's at There's normally something here. <laughs> oh, it's the best. It's like it's like they like a shell shock. It's yeah. like, oh god, I forgot. Like whoops. <laughs> Bree once again picking up Sarah. That's what I do too, bro. To open a close guard. Yeah. Stand up. I stand up. I put I put their hips right on my knees and I just squat down on it and I and I let them hold it as long oh, yeah. as, as long as they can. It makes them tired. You try and fight their le or fight their uh, legs now. People are so good about snapping up triangles, all this tricky stuff now. You just can't let them. You can't let them get their hips involved. Forty five seconds left in this match. Bree has been pressuring for this entire time. Fantastic. There we go. I'm a big fan of the stack pass. There you go. She got that collar grip. Yeah, she's going to tiptoe around, tiptoe around. I always mess that up. Ten seconds left on the clock. Getting clear now's, the, now's, names. now's the time you jump. You just jump on something. Right? Ten seconds left. Submission only. You just jump. That's why I'm excited for these people coming up because every one of these guys is a killer. Yeah. They're all. They're, none of them are sitting back and stall. They're just gonna. Just snap going for it. I'm excited. I think an underrated one is Joel Smith against Nathan Vittoria. 
uh, fifth from the bottom. Okay. I think that's going to be a fun one, too. Joel Smith. Fitosa. Fitosa. Nathan oh, Fitosa. Oh, yeah, yeah, Nara. <laughs> Looks like Sarah's starting on Bree's back. Okay, she... Oh, I was gonna say it looked like she was trying to get that thumb inside that yep. collar grip. Oh, what's up, right Captain away. Ken Gabrielson? I was wondering where you guys were. I was looking for you guys. It's Ken Gabrielson in the house. Do you know about Ken Gabrielson? No, I do not. The second American ever to receive a black belt in jujitsu. Oh, that's insane. He's, I did not know that. Yeah, that's a big deal, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a big deal. I confirmed that's it awesome. on uh, BJJ Heroes, where I went and looked up the lineage. Yeah. They told me that, and I was like, what? This guy right here? <laughs> and I went on BJJ Heroes. I checked it out, man. He's there. He got his black belt in the 90s. That is honestly from, um, that is insane. I forgot who it's from. That is such a cool thing. Yeah, so he's one of the, not just one of the dirty dozen, bro, but he's yeah. just one of the, the dirty two. Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So his son is Chris Gabriel said he's the um, he's the third from the bottom. Okay, um, Jack Mon oh, that, yeah, okay, it's Jack now Montgomery. Yeah, Jack Montgomery, right? So I, I I did a seminar at their academy uh, last month. That's oh, where okay. that's where I met them. So it was just funny that I saw them here too. Oh, and speaking of uh, seminars, don't you have one coming here tomorrow? Tomorrow, at UFC Rockland, yes. Eleven a.m. Guys, all you local people, there's a seminar tomorrow. Oh, she escaped. Um, yeah, so I got a Nogi seminar here at the UFC gym in Rockland. It starts at 11, and it's Nogi. We will be going over some uh, guillotines and monoplatas, my two favorite submissions, and a few other things, some anaconda chokes, north-south chokes. Sacramento grapplers, you better make your way here. You do not want to miss out on this opportunity. Do yes. the golden rule, guys. Yeah, we're a gold score. Let's see what happens. Golden score is a is a unpleasant situation for someone who doesn't like takedowns, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you like takedowns, it's the best. <laughs> That's why I liked uh, Kelsey and Brett's uh, approach because they just both sat to the butts immediately, let that person came in, and then yeah, played yeah, try to sweep them. It was smart because they're both like, we're not wrestling. Yeah, I love wrestling. I love takedowns. You know, it's it's uh, so I'm lucky enough to have Sarah McMahon as my coach. So nice. It's one of those things where it's exciting actually getting to learn from an Olympian. Yeah, learn all the little tips and tricks. So much more tiring though. Oh, it's exhausting. It's, it's That's why no one likes it, bro. Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> That's why no one likes it. It's it's exhausting. Oh. It takes so much energy to take someone down. And so like in a submission only match, it kind of doesn't make sense to even waste your energy on yeah. it. You know, it's so much energy for something that you're not going to get any points for. So why do it? Just pull or uh, oh oh she's on an arm bar. Oh no oh she's out. She's gonna come up with the leg. She's gonna finish it. She's going to finish it. Not yet. Look at the ref's ready. The ref's ready. He wants to throw those points so bad. We got to secure it. You got to secure it. You got to secure it. Oh. <laughs> Damn. What a scramble. Man. That was fantastic. There's some great matches here today, man. I love watching Blues and Purple Bells because they go for it, you know? There's like, they they're all hard. Yeah. And they're nervous. You know, they're so nervous, bro. Sam Martinez with the win there. Fantastic. That's I'd probably say purple, purple and brilliant. I'm probably gonna agree with you. My favorite. Oh man, they fight with so much heart. <laughs> the, the crazy stuff you see them throw out is amazing. Like, yeah. The weirdest submissions. Let's see. Now we get the B2. So you're probably getting Kelsey Carter is making her way to the mat. Triangle trap queen. 2020 <laughs> Pan Am Did you call champ. her trial? What did you call her? Triangle trap queen. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so it's absolutely insane. Every angle, just always triangle from everywhere. Yeah, it's insane. she got those long triangle legs. Yeah, for sure. And she just looks at you with those dead eyes the entire time. Yeah. It's terrifying. I've known Kelsey for a long time, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's gonna beat me up for giving her, yelling her nickname out here. <laughs> Definitely really good vibes in here too. Like oh. the crowd's really into the matches. Everyone's having a really good time. Got Lynn Lee on the mat now. Oh, cornrows, bro. Anyone has cornrows, tough. Automatically. Oh, yeah. oh Lynn's a mo She's very slick. Has a lot of very, very slick submissions. I think cornrows is the best hairstyle for uh, for grappling competitors. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought I'd grow my hair out and try it. <laughs> I hate my hairline. I found that out real quick. I wonder how long it takes to do that. Probably hours, huh? Yeah. And then it just hurts. Yeah, right? Like, it Someone's doesn't feel good. It's tension on your skull. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm like, hey, more power to you. Yeah. 
So, uh, what's the Kelsey on top? Who's on bottom? What's her name? Lynn Lee. Lynn. Okay, Lynn. She's a Maxwell uh, fighter. Okay. And the the submissions that are allowed are just pretty much uh, every, everything except knee bars, or yeah. And I think at brown uh, the brown, brown and black belts they allow heel hooks in the gi here. Oh really? Yeah. Nice reapings. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, that'll be interesting. That's old school jiu jitsu. Yeah, there's yeah. there's no messing around. Fredo's like he wanted a rule set that was a little bit different than everyone else's. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Fredo and Justin are doing a great job putting this together. So the architects are Justin and Alberto? Uh, Alfredo. Alfredo, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Alfredo. Like the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I say Alfredo, I'm just thinking of the scene from uh, Godfather. Alfredo, I knew it was you. <laughs> Kelsey's very calm and composed. It's stressful to be a purple belt competing with blue belts. It's yeah. stressful, man, because you don't want to lose to a lower belt level. You know, Not no one likes that. And look, man, Ooh, Lynn just came through with the Barambolo to the mount. That was, that was slick. Might be going for the cross collar. Very slick. Can't see the grip she's getting. Uh, it looks like Kelsey locked her arms up in fully defensive mode. Smart move. This would be a bad situation if there was points, but there's not. So all she needs to do is tie up her arms. That's one thing that I'm honestly not used to is seeing how relaxed all these guys are in these positions. Yeah. Normally if there's points, they're exploding out and trying crazy stuff here. Yeah. You know, they can bide their time. She's got to re-strategize right now. I'm a big fan of the UPA when you just uh, lock, trap the arm down and yeah. bridge. I, 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 uh, I've used it thousands of times against my friend Keenan Cornelius, and uh, it worked 60% of the time, every time. See, another another benefit of having no feet is I bring my leg up, I can go under, I grab my stump, and I pull it back, mm -hmm. I can jam it right back into your leg and then kick out and it gets you out of my uh, out of mount. It's so dumb. You got all kinds of stupid it's sneaky GT shit. GTA oh. cheat codes. <laughs> That's all, it's, trust me, everyone in my gym hates me. <laughs> it's it's all cheat codes. It's Were you born like this? Nah, I got hit by a train in Roseville. You got hit by a train yeah. in Roseville? Yeah. Were you playing chicken with the train? No, I, it was my 21st birthday. It was your 21st birthday. Yeah, they, uh, they did, uh, the way the city planned it is there is a pavilion outside the bar right next to the train tracks. And I tripped on the stairs, fell off the platform, knocked myself out on the, oh, on the railing. The train oh came by. Oh, my God, bro. So now I'm better at jiu -jitsu. But you were unconscious when it happened. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Yeah, thank God. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun. That would be a, a crazy thing to have to be, con hey. be conscious for. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> hey, we all have our fun in our own little ways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess every day, every day is a blessing when you survive something like that. Oh, right? yeah, so like, you just do nothing. Like I made through that stuff. Bro, like, nothing's you happening. Yeah. You could have bled out easily. Oh, you know easily, what I mean? Easily, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. like, I'm golden. That's a miracle, yeah. though. Congratulations. Oh, oh, dude, I'm defeated. Fun, dude. Defeated the train. Oh yeah, and then I'm making all my jiu-jitsu friends pay. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't the train finish the job? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dark. Uh, you gotta have a dark sense of humor. It's the what, best. What's the, what doesn't kill you gives you a dark sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah, pretty true. Yeah, I have a friend who's a who's a homicide detective. Yeah, he had a real dark sense it, of humor. Oh. Like, oh my god! It's it's always it's funny watching people get unsettled while make dumb jokes like that. He said they have to. It's the only yeah. way they can cope with yeah. the, with the shit that they see. Oh it's, yeah, it's necessary. It relieves that tension. Yeah. Lynn's doing, having great. Yeah, Lynn's time. Lynn's still dominating Kelsey. Mm. Oh, she worked away into that mm. triangle, but Kelsey has her arm in there, yep. but. Got this 30 seconds. can definitely be finished. Uh, I'm pretty sure she can hang in there for 30 yeah. more seconds. When there's 20 seconds left, you can take some serious punishment to survive. Yeah. You know, just sheer willpower. So what I would do is I would jam that wrist down and push her elbow, try and wrist lock her against her own neck. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. I would just smother their face into my crotch yeah. and try to suffocate them. Probably a smarter option. <laughs> more humiliating, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Well, good on her. Good job. God, these ladies are monsters. Mm. 
Okay, so. Go back to the spider web. Kelsey attacking first. You know what I always do um, when we're doing in this situation? See how Lynn automatically gave her right arm to Kelsey? Yeah. If I was Kelsey, I would tell her to turn around and give me the other arm. You go, oh, so you, get, you, oh, you do get to pick the side. Okay. That's smart. You get to pick the off arm. That makes sense. Yeah. Right? You get to no, choose, that, right? Yeah. You choose your be, position. Yeah. You choose if you want right side or left side. Well, Lynn obviously gave her the right side because yeah. for a reason, mm -hmm. you know. So that you, is the competitor's mindset right there. You take that's the other side. No, no, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Same thing with the rear naked chokes. You know, everyone always throws the right arm over the shoulder, yeah, right? Yeah. Wow, switch it up on them, you know? That's a very good point. Switch it up on them. They're probably used to defending one way and not oh, the other yeah. way. That completely makes sense. Right? And most people are right-handed. That's probably why she gave her right arm. I'm using that tip now in my next match. Yeah, whatever they give you, let them, let them oh, choose yeah. what they give you and then tell them that no, you want no, the no, other no. one. <laughs> That's, oh. <laughs> yeah. If you're listening, pay attention to that. One thing I think also too is because Kelsey has these really long legs, she could just triangle her legs over that forearm, you know, and get yeah, that get that bicep crusher. Yep. Oh, it's so yeah, miserable, yeah. man. She does that all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. a terrible feeling. I've been in it many times. So every now and then I go over to the Tenth Planet down in San Diego and yeah. I train with those guys, and and they love to train these these positions, you know. And man, it's, they put that bicep crunch on you. Yeah, oh. yeah. You can feel the elbows separate a little bit from the from the humerus. It's such a good feeling you get to bite down on someone with that, though. Oh, yeah. So me, but it's amazing. Oh, there she goes. She got that foot on the arm. That was what I would have done. Yep, separate it. There it is. Stretch it out. Oh, she hitchhiked out. She got out. Oh, <laughs> Lynn nice. Lee is a ninja. I thought it was done, man. I thought it was done, but Kelsey wasn't ready for the hitchhiker. I had a roommate one time who, when he was a purple belt. He probably still is a purple belt, purple belt for life. But this was like over 10 years ago, man. No one could stop his hitchhiker. Yeah. No one. He would give you the arm. Mm -hmm. And he and I knew he was going to hitchhiker, and I still couldn't stop it. Was man. he a big guy, little he guy? He was a big guy. Big guy. Yeah, he's a bigger guy. Yeah. It's always infuriating when people have those that one move that yeah. no one can figure out. Yeah. It's like, okay. So he could always just give you the arm. And I, sometimes I didn't even go for the arm bar because yeah. I knew he was going to hitchhiker out of it. So if Lynn can finish this, she wins. In her last one, she was very patient with their spider web. <coughs> very patient. Oh, there now, it is. There it is. That's what we we're talking about. The Ooh, bicep crunch. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Or is it the Tarika Plata? It's the Tarika Plata. We don't call it Barata Plata no more, yeah. you know, because Barata got in trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to update the moves. 2020. I, yeah, so, so now we're calling it the Tarika Plata. Tarika Plata, okay. You heard it here. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, my God. That's such a ninja move. If she finishes that, I'll be so impressed. It's such a, and it's such a, once it's in there, it's so difficult to get out of. Like, I, don't, I couldn't even tell you what Kelsey should do right now. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not flexible. And, I don't be tapping And already. Lynn, all she has to do is slowly sit on there and rotate, rotate her hips. And, and Kelsey's arm is getting tired. You know, she doesn't have her hands locked. Yeah. So she's probably just grabbing her gi, you know, and the shoulder muscle, the forearm muscle, everything's getting more tired. And Kelsey's thinking right now, fuck, I don't want to tap to a blue belt. And it looks like she got it. Good job. Hey, that was a very impressive yeah. performance by Lynn. Very impressive. Very impressive. Such a cool submission, bro. I would, I, If I had to guess, I would say submission of the day. Yeah. Yeah, you 100%. Know? Tariqa Plata. Who gets that? You know, most people don't even know what it's called. No. Add that one to the repertoire. Okay, so Lynn goes into the finals now, right? Yes, sir. And up next, we have Manny Mendoza against Sam Tanner. Purple belt, so I'm not mistaken. There it is, Manny Mendoza. Let's see these guys. Okay. It's so funny that uh, Sam Tanner, because I know the ta the Rice Bros are named Sam and Tanner. Yeah. <laughs> you know they they live yeah, just yeah. just a few hours from here. Oh yeah, super fight. Yeah, <coughs> leg leg locks only. Leg locks only. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm excited. <laughs> now Sam Tanner's making his way to the map. Chad Bingham is roughing. Manny Mendoza at a cost jujitsu. Sam is at an alpha male. I 
Alpha Male, that's uh, Uriah's team, right? Yes, sir. Yep. And um, I know someone, uh, Dustin. Yep. Dustin. Dustin is yep. on that team also, right? Yes, sir. Where does Dustin live nowadays? Is he still up he's here? Still, yeah, he's, he's still up here. here. Yep. Nice, man. He's a good, good guy. I, oh, I, I yeah, run yeah. into him a lot of tournaments. Yep. I always enjoy talking to him. Very nice guy. You know, Chris is now the main, main uh, jiu-jitsu guy out there now. Chris. Chris. Holdsworth. Oh, okay. Hold. Oh, yeah. I know. I know that name. Big boys. So which one's Manny? Manny is the one in black. Black. Short sleeves. Okay, and Sam is green. All green. Yeah, you went, you went color coded. Look at that state of Jefferson. Okay. Honestly, moving to California, I still have no idea what the state of Jefferson is. The state of Jefferson. You see it all the time up here. It's that you do me certain just thing, you'll see it. I always thought it was like the, the Gadsden flag or something like that. I love side control. He's shooting a Darson right there. Uh, I, I I agree with you 100%. I love side control. I'll take side control yeah. over any other position. I, better than mount, yeah. better than the back. From side control, I can yeah. attack all kinds of submissions. Everyone's so good about defending mount now. It's like, no. Nope. Yeah. Oh, if I, I'll take mount just to get some points, and yeah. I'll dismount. I'll go back to side control. Or same with the back, you know, I'll take the back just to get the points and then I'll just go back to the other position that I like. Like that uh, side control Japanese necktie into a Darce, my absolute favorite. Yeah, I like to I like to throw the monopod from side control. Yeah. Kind of like you're throwing the triangle, you know, but mm -hmm. then and then just don't come up on top. Yeah. I'll actually teach that tomorrow at my uh, my seminar. Be here and learn it, guys. I'm just going to I'm just going to shout it out like every other match. Hey, that's good. <laughs> 11 a.m. UFC Rockland. This is uh, Rockland. The city is called Rockland, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And Roseville is just next door. Yeah, it's like right? across the highway. I don't okay. Know. I, they keep correcting me because I keep saying we're in Roseville. Uh, and then, nope, we're in Rockland. Because like, you crossed a road. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. So, look, right here, it's a perfect opportunity to slide into a guillotine. Oh, man, he's squeezing, it looks like. You know what he could also do uh, if um, if Sam puts his right hand on the mat, Tanny or Manny should isolate that arm with his legs and then mm -hmm. shoot the anaconda. So that's what I, I like that alligator roll into the anaconda. Yep. Or even now, there's a nice little hanger teen opportunity here with that right hand on the chin. I don't even like calling it a hanger teen. It's a guillotine. Is it weird calling someone with your own? Uh, yeah, your own? I don't. I don't ah. I'm not a fan. I didn't know. I, I didn't give myself that name either. Yeah. That's, got, that's kind of a cool thing, though. You can't really give yourself a nickname, right? It has, no, to, it has to come oh, from someone else. It's the worst when it's your own thing. <laughs> it's like, okay, I don't know if I can use it, man. <laughs> Pretty sure Gordon gave himself his nickname. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. Um, who else gave? So I, I can think of a few people. I think he, like, he likes just dealing with the hate. He like, like, I think <laughs> his was a pre-med. I'm going to make my own nickname. So, that people, so that people hate me. Exactly. Success. God. I wish Keenan had a nickname. I tried to give him one. I gave him a Keenus for a little bit there, <laughs> but he, he got really mad at me about it. I don't know. It might stick now, Keenan. That's well, that's pretty clear. His his students started calling him Keenus because he would call me Hinger. Yeah. And it's wrong, you know. He did yeah. he did it on purpose. And he was live. He would live stream matches and mm -hmm. say it. I say it on the <laughs> microphone. So everyone called me Hinger. So I was like, okay, I'll call you Keenus. Keenan Keenus. Keenus. Keenus Cornelius. <laughs> Anyway, so he got mad about it because the students started calling him that. that. Yeah, oh. so he begged me. He's like, bro, you got you to <laughs> stop, seriously. And now everyone heard it on pay-per-view, so Keenus is stupid. <laughs> so don't call Keenan Keenus. <laughs> At least not when he's around. Yeah, just tag him. Yeah. Hashtag Keenus. All right, so. Get that knee out of the way. Man, he's been keeping that steady pressure on him. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he's a he's a bit of a pressure passer, huh? Just taking a break. And he's always looking for the the club on the back yeah. of the head. It was the same thing I do. I do the exact same thing, man. Even from the top when I'm passing, I'm always reaching, trying to club the back of the neck, trying to hang on their head and pull their head in, just exhaust their back muscles. Their always. their what are those called? Rhom rhomboids, right? The rhomboids. I'm those, not that smart. Those, uh. <laughs> I don't know either, man. The rhomboids I think are in the back. I always like try and remember a muscle. I'm saying the wrong one. Like oh, the the flexor. Like, yeah, nope, you nope. know, the one that's in your back. Yeah. <laughs> you know. 
Oh, there we go. Nice little back step. Looking Ooh. for the leg. And lost the knee. Oh, he look at that he nice heel hook. Oh, he doesn't have the knee, though. You know, when I do uh, no-gi matches, I uh, I always shave my legs the night before oh, and, yeah. my, and my feet. Mm -hmm. I shave my feet, yeah. too. I just want to be able to slip out of anything. Yep. For ADCC, I shaved my arms, feet, legs, and hands. Oh, you have to? <laughs> It's, it, you almost have to. Yeah. It's, it provide, like, I'm a hairy man. I just want any opportunity to escape, you know. It's such a grip. It's ridiculous. And I'm glad I did because yeah. I, I was having that match with Adam Barjinski, and he had he attacked this inverted yeah. arm lock on me like three different times, and I, oh, man, I barely got out of it. And I was just like, oh, thank God. I wonder if my shaved arms helps with that. Hey, every little advantage helps. Anything, huh? Man, he's starting on Sam's back. Oh, we're in overtime now? Yes, sir. See, like he threw the right arm over. I don't like the gable grip here. I don't like the way he's doing the yep. gable grip. It's, I prefer the seatbelt grip when you cup the wrist. I think it's more of a big guy. When you, you have those big guys that like that gable grip, so they're like crushing the end. Maybe, yeah, maybe he doesn't have the same kind of rotation yeah. on his arm. I don't know. But no, I think I, I used to do that too. I, like the kind of I stick my thumb in their chest with the yep. fist, and then I cup the, the wrist. Yep. No, that's, that's a much better move. I think it is with a lot of strong guys. They're used to pulling in. They're yeah, to gable grips over. are good. They're good, yeah. man, but uh, not when I'm on the back. And it's a lot harder to transition other moves when you have that. Well, the problem is when you get the gable grip from the back, you're not protecting your wrist on yeah. the, the top arm, right? Yeah. So the person can make a cross grip like this. If they reach across, they make a cross grip on their wrist, a mm -hmm. defensive move. Yeah. Once you have the cross grip, it's impossible to submit them. Yeah. You know, that's such a strong defense. Yeah. The cross grip on the, on the attacking arm. So at least if you do the seatbelt grip, like this, yeah. They can't grab the bottom mm -hmm. wrist, right? You're protecting it. Yeah, right. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can only grab the top hand. Then you can collapse the hand yep. and attack the neck. So you can learn these tips and tricks tomorrow, hey. 11 a.m. Rockland, UFC Rockland. Josh Hanger is running his seminar. It's a pretty good seminar. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'll I, be I, there. I I'm excited. A, I put a lot of uh, a lot of time and energy and, and effort into it. It is my goal to have the best seminar in the world. Yeah, hey. And I've been to many seminars, many, many seminars, and I've always tried to make sure mine's the best. The Sacramento natives have a chance to find out tomorrow. Uh, so this is round two? Yes, sir. Oh, he escaped. Oh. Once again, guys, ride time does not matter. No, so now we're going to golden score. And I'm going to predict Manny. I don't know these guys at all, but I'm just going to say I think Manny's going to pull this one off because uh, he seemed to be like the top guy, Looks the top pressure. And I think Sam was pulling guard. Yeah, see, Sam, I don't think Sam's trying to wrestle. But that was a guard pull. And if Manny passes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a guard pass. He didn't really have a guard ever. Yeah, no. Um, it's tricky. It's tricky now because, like, Sam pulled guard, right? And Manny was never really in the guard. Yeah. So it kind of pulled side control almost, or Pretty not. Well, then, then, it wasn't really side control either, though. You know, but the the thing is about jujitsu, uh, at least for the IBJJF rules, the the three points is for passing the guard. It's yeah. not for achieving side control. But in ADCC, it's the opposite. In ADCC, you're getting points for side control, not for passing the guard. Yeah. There's no points in ADCC for passing the guard. But okay. You, but you do get points for establishing side control. Okay. Right? But IBJJF is the opposite. IBJJF, you get the points for mm. passing the guard, not for getting side control. Okay. So you have to be in the guard in, quarter, in order to pass the guard. Okay. Do you understand? And yeah, he just kind of skipped the whole thing. So So in IBJJF, you could, like, pull guard, and the guy can jump on side control, mm. and there's no points. No points, yeah. They're disengaging. Big boys are breathing heavy. See if Sam tries to go for another MR roll. Why is it always the go to of tired people, the MR roll? <laughs> like it looks it looks so easy. I've never tried to MR roll everyone in my entire life. I, yeah, I just don't get it's like it looks cool. <clears throat> and if you like have really long arms, I guess. The other day I posted a video of some of a guy, uh, Kevin Crane, I think it says yeah. name. And he uh, he faked a handshake, and when the guy reached out to hand it, Kevin went for the <laughs> went for the MNRI roll, and then he submitted the guy. Oh, oh it, was, it was dirty. Yeah, I'm all for dirty maneuvers, uh, <laughs> but that might be a little much for me. All right, we got a victor here. Looks like Manny won. Manny pulled it off. 
And up next, we got Meredith Palmer Lee against Joanna Scott. Twelve more matches we have. Twelve more. And they're just getting better from here. Yeah. So, at what at what point do you think our black belts are? I don't, I don't know. Lindsay Boston is a brown belt, I think. I don't know Jason or Mario. Those guys, Lewis, Lindsay. So Joel is the first. Joel and Nathan are the Joel first. Joel Smith and yeah. Nathan. Okay, they're oh, the, the first black belt. belt. Yeah, I okay. think they're brown belts. Oh, they're brown. Okay. Yeah. So I think from there on. Okay. So the last four matches yeah. are brown or black. Yeah. What is uh, Chris Gabrielson? Chris is black. Black. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I would say after them, it's probably all black. Chris is top man. I trained with him mm -hmm. just just last month. Where are these guys out of? Uh, Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs. Oh, so they're making the trip. Yeah. Yeah, they flew out here a couple of days ago. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Got. To, I've had the pleasure of rolling mm -hmm. Meredith a few times. Very strong lady. Where is she from? What's, what academy? Uh, Lodi Strive. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very strong woman and very technical. It's one. It's deadly combination. Well, I've never trained with Joanna Scott, but word on the street is she's pretty strong, pretty, pretty good. Oh, I'm excited. That's, I, that's the rumor on the streets. So I don't know. And the ladies that have been on the day have been fantastic. So yeah. They, these hey, ladies have a lot to did you about. check the women's ma the women's matches last night at Fight to Win? No, I did not. Or just uh, it was a all women's card. Yeah, yeah. All, Man, they were good. Well, they, I think they said because of the, the how well that card did, they're gonna do a women's only card every single month. Yeah, as they should. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Man, those man, they fought like hell. It was it's very exciting matches. It's like they fought with, once again. They fought with something to prove, and they showed they're monsters. Yeah. Like, so cool to yeah. see. Yeah. Like, I like that's why I like jujitsu. It's one of the few sports where the men and women. It's like it does not matter. You, you're watching fireworks either way. Yeah, it's yeah. It's beautiful. And <laughs> either one's gonna kick the crap out of you. Yeah. One of my very first training partners ever was a, 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 a pioneer of women's jujitsu. Her name was Erica Montoya. Oh shoot, we got a quick. Quick submission here, maybe. Maybe that armbar. She's in on it. I don't know. She doesn't. She doesn't seem to have it hooked very well. Looks like she might just be holding the bicep with her hand, you know, as opposed to like elbow. Oh, she got oh. it. Oh my Slick. god, she pulled it off. Man, sometimes you come off strong in the beginning and they don't expect it, you know. I was like an aggressive start. Was that Joanna Scott, that one? No, oh, Meredith. That was Meredith, okay. <clears throat> Very nice. Up next, we have Jason Wong and Mario Esquivez. That was a very good pronunciation of that name, Esquivez. I, have no, I, can so see, I can see a lot of people butchering that name. See, I'm like, I, I try to get these names right. I <laughs> might have messed up a few, but trying to get the hard ones right. You ever go to start? What's up, brother? One commercial. Okay. And we're back, guys. I almost said something inappropriate while we were, <laughs> <laughs> while we came, when we came back. That's why we got our production. Is he listening to up. us? Can you hear us on your hair? Uh, okay. Making sure I don't say anything crazy. <laughs> <laughs> These guys look pumped up. Jason Wong looks pumped. Making his way to the mat is Mario Esquivel. The funny, it's funny. The bleached hair. It was. Uh, it's totally a thing that that the high school wrestlers would do. Where where I'm from. Uh, I, I went to high school in Temecula Valley down yeah. south, and uh, the Temecula Valley wrestlers loved bleaching their hair, you know, so every time I see that, it I throws me back into my wrestling days in high school. See, I was in that weird stage when I was that, when I was that young. It was, the spots were big. It was the, oh, the yeah, 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 spot. yeah, yeah, cheetah spots. And yeah. I made the mistake of doing that. It was like, I look back, <laughs> and I, I, there's so much like, oh, it hurts my heart, like looking back at those pictures. Oh, that's funny. Ooh. Ooh slick. A little diving Camaro. It's always fun. And it looks like he got it. He got it locked up. Mm -hmm. But my man threw his hook in from the back. Oh. oh. Jason getting to the back. Got one hook in. Trying is, to that get a, is, that, is that a Barrett submission shirt he has on? It is, huh? 
I think so, yep. Barrett submissions, yeah. Shout out to the legend, Barrett Yoshida. Just one swap in the mount. I used to train under Barrett Yoshida, actually. Yeah, where is that out of? San Diego. San Diego. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm too shy. <laughs> no, you do it. You're the man. This is your show, bro. You got to do it. <laughs> yeah, like a half straight jacket going on for a minute. <laughs> Jason Wong controlling from Mount. It's just so hard for me to get any offense going from Mount because everyone just buckles down. Well, it was now. tough, bro. I had um, I had Mount position against uh, John Blank at ADCC in the yeah. third place match. He's a fantastic bro. Player, yeah. I literally held that Mount position for eight minutes. So and could not finish him. Yeah, it's <laughs> I was just digging my knuckles into his neck, just trying to get some cheap little Ezekiel. It was, it was, it was terrible. It was pathetic, actually. But I just thought, like, man, it's such a boring match. But I was like, I'm not trying to lose this position. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, trust me, it's, it's one of those you don't want to give it up. You yeah. Have it. I get it. Yeah, I felt really bad for the crowd. I was like, you had to watch me just hold him out for eight minutes. That's <laughs> super lame. Oh, but geez. whatever, man. There's cash. There's a, there was a, it was cash if you got yeah. third, and there's no cash for fourth. So I was yeah. like, I'm holding on. I Actually, they do. They get 1,000 for fourth. But I'd rather take a boring win than a loss. <laughs> like, ugh. Oh. I mean, ADCC, you take what you can get. Yeah. You, know. you got Murderer's Row. You got to be You got to be on your P's and what? Q's. What is going on there? Oh. Oh, I see what's going on. Nice. Uh, oh, Game Bread. I know, that's uh, Herman Torado's gym. I wonder if that's where he trains. Because Herman Torado's uh, one of Barrett's black belts. Yeah. And uh, I used to work with him. He was my coworker a long time ago. It says game bread on this guy's shorts, so I thought. Shout out to Herman Toronto if you're watching. And uh, with the bleach hair, that is Wong, Jason Wong, right? Yes, sir. Where is he from? I have no idea. It looks like Team Alpha Male. Okay. So up here. Yeah. Okay. For sure, for sure the other guy's a San Diego guy. Unless they have an affiliate gym up here, but I don't think so. And he's, and he's rocking the Guam, the uh, the Guam patch on his leg too. This is a a true Barrett submission grappler. <laughs> Shout out to Guam, by the way, too. Guam's very cool. You ever been to Guam? No, I wish. All my buddies got stationed there. Such so a little island in the middle of nowhere, but you know, like that's where Shoy Roll comes from. Yeah. You know, Shoy yeah. Roll being like probably the mo biggest gi brand, yeah. I guess. Second only to Tatami, to the <laughs> best in the world. But what, buddy just got his designs published for Show Your Roll. That's yeah, cool. that's cool. Small world when you see stuff like that happen. Yeah, I like Show Your Roll a lot, but, you know, Tatami is, Tatami. Where, yeah, is, oh, where, you're right. is where it's at, you know. Do you know where Tatami's from? No. Uh, the UK. UK. Yeah, the Lon they're in London. Awesome, hey, thanks, dude. Appreciate you, man. That was Sam Tanner. Just got done wrestling Manny Mendoza. What do, we, what do we got here? What's 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 Mr. Wong doing here? He's playing some possum or what? What's he doing? Yeah, trying to lull each other into sleep. What's he doing? He's bored now. He's playing, <laughs> some, playing some games. See, I love doing that though. That's one of my favorites. People just they don't sleep. They're like, oh, this idiot, and you just dive on him. There was a guy. There was a guy. Uh, I forgot his name. He used to train at AOJ, mm -hmm. and he would play corpse guard. What's that one? He would just lay on the, oh. his back like a corpse and yeah. he would just wait for you to... He would, he would get so bored with people not engaging. He would literally just lay on his back and put his hands by his side mm. and let the person walk around wherever they want and he would just wait for them to engage. And they were so <laughs> confused. You know, yeah. they were so confused they didn't want to engage. They were afraid. They knew they were walking into a trap. Mm -hmm. But it looks so stupid, yes. you know? And people would just get so mad at him for doing that. But hey, that's what works. Well, it's like people neglect that mental game. When you yeah. can throw someone off like that... Man, he's yep. sneaky with that. Going to overtime. Is that Mario Esquivez? Right? That's who yeah. that is? Mario? He's sneaky with that little Kimura from Turtle. Or it's like Kimura, Americana, Keylock. 
Those, I mean, those are so hard to mess with. Everyone's so good. Everyone has a trap of a Kimura now. It's. Uh, I remember I used to train with a guy who would turtle up, and uh, when you would when you would hold the front head control on him, he'd wrist lock you. Yep. From from inside his little turtle position. Oh, so aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got oh, out quick. Oh, that was a real quick escape. Under five seconds. But once again, ride time means nothing. A little mental victory, though. Yeah, huh? yeah, you say yeah. that. Like it kind of, it's kind of a defeating for the the guy so, that lost yeah. the position in five seconds. You just kind of slap yourself for a second. Like, ah, oh, I can't believe how pathetic. That's what I would say to myself, at least. Yeah. I talk a lot of shit to myself when I'm in matches, oh. man. I'm like, oh, you're an idiot. What the? F what are you doing, stupid? I like talking to my opponent. <laughs> like, I can't help. I just run my mouth. Like, not meanly, but I like talking while I'm rolling. Oh. I'm I, that kind of grappler. Okay. I can't help it. <laughs> I got ADHD, man. It just, it just always comes. It's like. <laughs> Either I'm going to talk to the crowd or I'm going to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> just don't talk to the ref. No, no. <laughs> it's never mean things. It's just the dumbest thing. No, of course, thing. of course. Like, Ooh, no one wants to be belly down body trying, though. No. That's death. I feel like you're going to break my floating rib. Yeah, that's a death, deadly situation. You can never. If someone has a body triangle on you, never, ever go belly down. They can literally break your spine. With your hips. Yeah. All right. Golden score. This will be interesting. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Mario Espinosa is coming out with fire right away. Jason not falling for it, though. Oh, oh is he going to get the points? Nope. No hooks yet. Oh. Oh. Nothing yet. Right? He jumped on him and uh, ended up on the bottom. There's no points there. What do they have for two minutes, right? Yeah, two minutes. Got a minute 30 left. A minute and a half left. I don't know, man. I'd say maybe open up that guard. Or at least get out on your hip or something. I like. I, I think the hip bump sweep is underrated. I agree 100%. It's, it's one of those things where too many people, they, they, it's such a beginner move, they don't I expect it. I completely agree, bro. I completely agree. I hit that move all the time. And if you don't get it, you don't really lose a position. Yep. Right? I guess, you know, they, you're going to end up in the same position. Or they might try to pass around behind you, and then you can get the guillotine. Yep. I love using the hip bump to set up a guillotine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I do. I was just go for trying to hit a Kimura off. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah too. Yeah. <coughs> Gotta stick with the strong guy moves. <laughs> no finesse. <laughs> He's got 40 seconds left. This goes through the gold, the golden round. It'll be a ref's decision. We can't have that. No. We can't have that. We need someone to do something. This can't be the first ref's decision. No. He's got to move. There hasn't been one the whole day yet. Nope. Huh? These nice. guys have been going after it all day long. Nice. Mario's hunkering down, and Jason's not trying to move him. Oh, now he's breaking that card. Oh, he locks so, back down. So who do you think the impetus is on right now to, to make action happen? The guy on bottom should open his guard, or the guy on top needs to do something more? Personally, I yeah. think it's, it's, there's so many ways to get out of your guard. Yeah. All you have to do is get your posture. Like, don't let him I stand up. Yeah. I always stand up. <laughs> Once again, another another dumb foot, no foot thing. I sit <laughs> in my butt, and I can wrap my legs around your waist. Oh, and pop it back. nice. It's so dumb. So you can always open that clothes guard, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that was uh, Mr. Esquivez. Esquivez with the win. By ref's decision. Bringing back the win to Guam or now, San Diego. Now this is the championship for the ladies. The finals, huh? Yep. It's Lynn Lee and Sarah Martinez. Um, I didn't watch any of Sarah's matches, but that, that was the one with uh, Brian, uh, Brie, uh, Brie Medina and Sarah Martinez, the uh, purple belt females from earlier. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just so impressed by Lynn's performance earlier. What was it called? The uh, Trico Plata. Tariq. Tariqo Plata. Tariqo Plata. Fantastic. That's good. That's good added into the repertoire. Yeah, that's a good one. And Sarah Martinez has made her way to the mats. Wow. So if, if Lynn can beat another purple belt, that would be very impressive. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. And the purple belts, who she's beaten, are being yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Kelsey won Pan Ams last year. Yeah, that's right. Um, Team Maxwell's no joke. So if they win? Are you guys busy? Oh, okay. I'll 
just so curious I, on what this gym had. Like, let me get, give me one second. Lindsay. And Lynn Lee and, Marti and Sarah Martinez are at it. Here we go. So Lynn uh, pulled guard, single leg X. I told you, bro. Anyone with cornrows, man, they're tough. They're you're, yeah, tough. You're not wrong. I just once got to go back. It hurts so much. Like I, I tried doing a slick back for a while, <laughs> and that hurt my head. Just pushing my hair one direction. <laughs> Look at my hair, bro. <laughs> That's why I started doing the same thing. Like I'm I, done. Like I'm, so much easier. I just shave it all off because I don't want. I don't want to have to deal with it ever. I wake up. It looks the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowly. I'm slowly going. Be beard and no <laughs> hair. It works. It's just so much better. So I think Lynn uh, maybe thinking about a, a bolo. She, that's, yeah, she that's what she did to Kelsey, yep. right? She barren bolo yep. to mount. And she, the way she grabs your legs the whole time, you're not thinking about it because you think she's attacking. And uh, I'm sorry, what's the girl in the black key? What's her name? Sarah it's Martinez. Martinez. Okay, Sarah Martinez. Um, I'm sure she was watching the other match too, right? Yeah. When, when uh, Lynn was going against Kelsey, and uh, I'm sure she was watching intently. Yeah. And is being a bit more cautious, a little bit more respectful. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, this is not just a blue belt. No. Right? This is Lynn Lee with the cornrows. Yeah. Oh, Lynn, Lynn has caught me in tricky, tricky submissions. Like, I'm yeah. not paying attention. Like, I'm not paying attention. Just not expecting. All of a sudden, like, a paper cut will come out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah jumping on the leg. Thought she was trying to go for a knee bar. Looks oh. like, looks like oh, it's in. Is it in there? So they can do knee bars. Yeah. I don't think it's just a knee line. Lynn doesn't look too distressed. I think her knee is out. Yeah, or there's, at least. there's no knee. I don't know. It looks like it's... Is it out? It might just barely be out. Oh. I think more of these guys need to be going for toe holds. Those things. Especially in the gear. Oh, I, yeah, I think they think she's on it. Yeah, yep. she's on a toe hold. Yeah. Very, she's trying to suck ooh, that knee back in. bending. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's just the angle. That looks like it yeah, was it looks bent. like a strange angle, and Lynn has her foot inside there. It's probably just not as tight as it could be. Then it's out. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of I'm rooting for I'm rooting for Lynn. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as I'm, you. I'm, I'm gonna root for the underdog. Not that she's the underdog, but she's the underdog belt color. Yeah, 100. percent as Sarah, you, I mean, it's one of those things, like you said, it's its always in your head about a lower belt. Even if you don't think about it, yeah. it's there. It's a deceptive advantage. Weight's all on Sarah's shoulders. So far, she's been doing fantastic. They're all tied up in knots. Yeah, it's a big human pretzel. Back to single leg X. I think Sarah should clear that foot off her hip first things first, you know? Yep. They always locked it out. I did a steam lock. Anytime that foot comes near yep, my hip. Yep, yep, yep. I train with the Rotolo twins. And they yep. <laughs> love the steam locks, man. They love them. People are, once again, oh, people say, oh, that looks nice. She's on that knee bar again. That's that's a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Then her armpit. Oh, no. Suck it back. Oh, nice. Using the heel to kind of collect that butt. Maybe Lynn just can't be leg locked. Maybe she's double jointed. Oh. Diving into a barambolo. You know what barambolo means? No. Do you know, it means scramble. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's what it means in Portuguese. It's scramble. Oh, Lynn's man. Lynn's doing her fair share Lynn, of scrambling. Lynn coming out. Strong position. Oh. Looks like mount. 25 seconds. But the do, two arms are under, so I don't know what kind of... Maybe she can get a loop choke or some sort or... Grab the collar and loop the head. Lynn's very wily with those loop chokes. She needs to get lower. She's way too high. Sarah's trying to sneak out the back door. 
It looks like these guys will be going to overtime. I mean, yeah, it's time. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Oh, no, it's 10 minutes. <laughs> Is it a 10 minute match? Because it's oh, finals. They up. Yeah, they, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not. That's. <laughs> oh, did she lose that position yeah. just because of that? Oh, that's unfortunate. But. Your job to know the rules. Yep. <laughs> yep. You got to know the time of your match. That's why they repeat it. That's but you know, it's just one of those things you hear the buzzer and instinctively yep. you stop, you know? But that's probably one of the biggest things I hate about wrestling is no one listens to the buzzer. Yeah. Is that they're like, oh, three minute rounds. And then it's the beeps. They're still going hard because yeah. coaches are like, okay. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Dang, now Lynn, Lynn's in, right now she's thinking like, God dang it, man. I was just in a yep. really good position. And now look. Oh, and Sarah got Lynn's back. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's tight, but it's over the mouth. Yeah. But you can tap to this, man. This is how I lost at EBI, dude. It, Gary threw that arm right over my mouth and just squeezed it. And, man, you could put someone to sleep like oh, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. The jaw slides back, mm -hmm. and the blood choke still happens. Let's see if Lynn's trying to wiggle her hips. Sarah's doing a really good job of maintaining that back control. Yeah. And I think, nope, she got over to the strong side. Does she have the collar grip is the question. Like Lynn is safe. Yep. All right, she's back into her guard. Good on Lynn. What a great match. Was doing a very good back and very forth. Very entertaining. No one's can sit in conceding positions or attacking. I think the screen cracked or something. Mm. Those burn lines. So we got two and a half minutes left. Lim grabbing that lapel, going under the knee. What's she going for? Looks like is her leg inside the lapel. Oh, she's using the roll. Do it. I think this is exactly what she did to Kelsey when she got the uh, lapel around the leg and went to the back. Oh, and she's Ooh. back on that knee again. Oh, my God. Sarah loves that knee bar. I think with Lynn, she's going to have to get that knee into, or that foot into her armpit to finish that knee bar. Oh, she's cranking it. So, looks, yep, looks like that knee is free again. Good on Lynn. The world out of bounds are getting reset. Is it, it, it makes me wonder, does Sarah, is she a knee bar kind of person? Is that her thing? Or, or is it just Lynn that keeps putting her, putting that leg out there and making it available to her? Might be a little both because how, how much uh, the Baron Brothers she's playing might just be she sees that opening a lot. You know, the first time I ever got a knee bar, not ever, but I would never do it in training. And yeah. then one time in a tournament, it was just there, and I grabbed mm -hmm. it, and I, and I got it, and I took it. It's I, I always feel so I just don't feel secure grabbing knee bars. If you mess it up, you get your back taken. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the unfortunate. I have a teammate who always takes my back off of it. Yeah, um, he's got really crazy flexible legs. Coming down to the last minute. What does Sarah have? A, is that an esteem lock? That might be an esteem lock. That's what she's looking at. Oh, then Lynn switches to her guard. Oh, 
I love watching 10 minute matches because you really got to dig deep, yeah. man. Like you really, by the end of that 10 minutes, you're exhausted, it's, it's, exhausted. And you got, it's really is just a, 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 t- a test of willpower. You know, who wants yeah. a, who can go the hardest for the longest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm okay with this. I like go-go's. Oh, I like go-go seconds. platters. Oh. oh, oh my God! Good on Lynn. Wow, Fan. she had that thing so deep. That was fantastic. Okay, so now we're going into overtime. That was just a phenomenal match. Yeah. Oh, she, she, uh, Sarah thinks there was points. There's no points in championship. Stop. No one. She won. didn't know what there's no points. We. They said po- no points the whole time. Yeah, of course. Every match has been like this. <laughs> has she been watching the rest of the matches? Yeah. I don't know who told her. <laughs> or maybe she just like watched the the golden scores, you know, and yeah. saw like two points and two points, and she thought there was points. Someone could maybe someone told her points. I don't know who, but it's been the well, same rules. Okay, the whole but time. let me ask you this: yeah. if if there's if she thought there was points, she should know what the score is, right? Yeah, I agree. But there's no scoreboard, so how the, how would she know what the score yeah. is? Is she tracking the points in her head this whole time? No, probably not. Yeah. So like, there's no scoreboard. So why would you think there's points if there's no scoreboard? Because every competitor looks at the scoreboard at some time in the match to see what the score is. Yeah. <laughs> or to see if you got the points or something. The middle of the match is not the time to argue. Or maybe she's asking if the second five minutes had points. Is that what they're saying? Oh, that. Could. I can't hear. I can. I can yeah. only hear a little bit of what people are saying. Look at this bionic arm. Look at this fucking. Guy. Oh, sorry. Look at this oh, guy yeah. with this bionic arm. He thinks he's so tough. <laughs> It's no funny, Tiago. He tore his tricep, bro. He's been Ooh, in, he's, that's, that's not a fun yeah, one. Yeah, he's a beast, bro. Just look at him. He looks like a cyborg. He's a big man. Yeah, he's a monster, bro. But he's had that little ar- arm contraption mm-hmm. on for like three months or something. That's the thing I love about Jiu-Jitsu. Even with, with the injuries, they're always in the match. Way sooner they should be. What's the scoop? What's going on? What's, what's the confusion about over there? The confusion was... Uh, the girl in the black key yeah. that it was a points only match. She thought it was points only. Not points only, but points. points. Matter. And, well, uh, basically didn't she notice that there's no? Sc- did she notice there's no scoreboard? <laughs> I mean, I would think so. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, there's, there's no points. Uh, overtime, did she? Was she tracking the points in her brain? She thought she uh, won. <laughs> so some points were being called. I think uh, that's what confused her. Oh, so people were calling points for yeah, in the match. Yeah, yelling out points. I, I believe. Oh, that's, that's confusing. Yeah. yeah. Who's yelling out points? The co- her coach. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Well, so what? So what? What happened? They're going five extra minutes. I'm not told anything. Okay, it's all right. I'm down to watch five yeah. more minutes of this match. <laughs> it's been a great match so far. Let's go. Let's make it 15 minutes. Especially game competitors, another five minutes. You keep. Oh, God, she's a knee bar person, yeah. bro. She just likes knee bars. That was slick. Well, she keeps like falling back with stiff legs. She needs to sit down quicker. Yeah. Seems like Lynn's coaches know something we don't. I don't, at least. <laughs> oh, Lynn might be going for her own. Oh, this is a this is a very good attacking position. I yeah. like this position a lot. Oh, I should have stayed on top though. There's a guard I like to play. I call knee bar guard. Mm-hmm. Can't really describe it right now, but she was just about there. So now it's a bit of a grudge match. Maybe yeah. not for the girls themselves, but for at least for us, it's a grudge match. Yeah. In my mind, it's a grudge <laughs> match because now they're both less like, oh, there was some just uh, uh, miscommunication about the rules. And so no matter what happens, like one competitor is always going to feel like they kind of got screwed, got screwed a little yeah. bit because like, you know, you, you're going to fight a certain way based on the yeah. rule set. Right. And she she could say easily argue like, oh, I, if, it, if I had known it was a submission only, I would have fought completely differently. Yeah. Yep. Maybe less concern over positions. She maybe would have attacked more. Yeah. Your entire strategy changes with the rule set. So no matter what happens, someone's going to feel like, ah. 
someone's going to feel like they got done wrong. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to know the rules. If you're you're going to do a tournament, it's your job to know the rules. You should have read them like five or six times. Same with the coaches. The coaches got to know the rules and got to make sure your competitor knows the rules. Some coaches just like to be vocal. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half minutes left. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know what Lynn was doing there. She was yeah. standing there. She had no grips. And she was just swimming her feet in the air with no contact. I think she was expecting <laughs> to get a roll out of that. Sarah, Sarah just kind of walked around her guard and sat on her face. <laughs> Like Lynn almost had her arm, but then yeah. Sarah stepped over, and now we got another human pretzel. You guys are very good about getting these tie-ups. This is a tough situation right here. Sarah's definitely going to escape. I don't care what. Neither one of these girls are losers. No, Not they're both. All. They're both amazing. <laughs> Minute and a half left. Yeah, is she trying to is she trying to get the close guard? Is that what she's trying to do? She's tired, man. You can see it. Yeah. A lot of grit from Lynn. Yeah, they're going in into their fifteenth minute now. I'm sure they're exhausted, man. Even black belts don't even do fifteen minute matches, yeah. you know what I mean? These are blue and purple yeah. belts going for fifteen straight. And not, not a stall in fifteen at No, that no, no stalling nothing. happened at all. Yeah, no stalling happened. Constant back and forth. And then think about it. Then they got to go into overtime. Yep. I, mean, I don't. I don't really see. I don't see any of them. Either one of them tapping anytime soon. At this no. point, you can't tap, bro. If, they, no. if someone locks onto something, you just got to take it. Yeah. Let the arm pop. They're so warm Ooh. right now. Oh. Oh. Sarah's so like so good about getting that foot back. Keeps getting like the tip of it right in danger. And then defense and then perfectly. The last 20 seconds now. Yeah, the last 20 seconds, I don't think anything's going to happen. After a 15-minute match, no matter what someone grabs on you, yeah. you, you can't tap. No. You can't tap. they got to put you out mm -hmm. or, or maybe. Yeah. All right. So now, <laughs> after 15 minutes of grappling, they're going to go into overtime. <laughs> It's like an ADCC finals match, bro. Yeah. You know, it goes in 20 minutes. One more round? Well, and then and then the golden score, right? Well, I don't know if they're, they're probably going to change the rules on us again. We'll find out. Looks like they have a decision. Oh. So I guess it was ref's decision? No overtime? Oh, I wonder who Chad's going to pick. Oh, so much pressure. Oh, yeah. Sarah with the win. She she definitely yeah. attacked more submissions. Yep. That's fair. Yep. She definitely had at least four knee bars that were yeah. close. I, I can get on board with that. But I think things could have changed. That buzzer went have went off at that five-minute mark with Lynn in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. And that's the only part that's like, ugh. You know, they, bo they both have to think about that. And they both know that. That's the yeah. thing, you know. Sarah knows that. Lynn knows that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can always play what if. Fantastic but showing from these ladies. It was a phenomenal match, man. But they're both winners. Well deserved win, Sarah Martinez. And Sarah Martinez is the champion of that bracket. That's a pretty sweet belt, too. Yeah. That's a sweet belt. Going to a commercial break, real quick.
And guys, we're going to be taking a five minute break real quick so we can uh, swap links. To get the new link, go into the chat link and you can find it there. We'll be taking a five minute break. The link will be in the chat for the new link. See you guys back in a few minutes.
Guys, hopefully you found that link in the chat. That's the way it goes. Up next is going to be Alika Foster and John Starks. And walk into the mat is Alika Foster. You want a mat? You can kick me off anytime. Same with me, man. Hey, you want to hop on? You want a break? I talk for a living. So. Tell, tell Lynn Lee to come talk to us. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, tell Lynn to come the girl, talk to us. The girl. Oh. And Alika Foster has made his way to the map. Is Lika or Alika? I thought it was Alika. I could be wrong. Where is it at? Okay, it's Alika. Yeah, it's Alika. Where is it at? I don't even see it on the list. It is under B5 winner. And now John Starks is making his way to the map. Alika. That's a cool name. Dude, my favorite name right now is Cletus Ramos. Cletus. Cletus Ramos. I love it. <laughs> Cletus Ramos. Cle Cletus. Cletus and Ramos. Cletus. And. I love that. And I don't even know this man, but I love the name. Cletus. I'm a fan. Uh, and so against John Starks. Not John Stark from Game of Thrones. I did the same. I said uh, John, uh, it's King of the North Starks. The King of the North. Well, so, uh, well, it's funny. I keep mispronouncing the R's and the names I think are Brazilian. He's like Ramos <laughs> yeah. or Rafael. It's yeah. like, no, no, it's Logan. It's Ramos. Yeah. Rafael. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You know Lovato? Rafael Lovato? Yeah. It's, he doesn't go by Rafael. It's Rafael. He's, a, he's American. He's from <laughs> Oklahoma. He's not like, Brazilian at all. I don't get it. Pretty soon they're going like, to start mispronouncing Mackenzie Dern's name. Start giving her some Brazilian name. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get um, trying to get Lynn Lee to come over here and talk to us. We sent we sent, we sent a messenger off to go find her. Probably talking to her coaches or something after that fantastic match. She'll be here in a minute. So the match starts with Lika Foster and John Starks. That's a big head of hair. That guy has a lot of hair. Lynn Lee. Well. Sit down here and talk to us. Yeah, put those earphones on. Can you hear me? Can you put, put that thing really close to your? No, like this, like this, this uh, screen. Okay. Yeah, there you oh, go. Okay. You can actually like, get really close, like even make it touch. Yeah. Okay. That, there we go. Now we can hear you very well. Nice. Hey, phenomenal match. Oh, there. thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> like very entertaining. Oh, awesome. We were I'm over glad. here. We were over here just screaming at the screen. Um, <coughs> how was it? Um, exhilarating. There was some confusion in there. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I can understand her frustration because I was a little. Well, maybe it's my fault for not seeking out the rules, but I didn't realize we had a 10 minute limit. Um, so, and also I didn't realize there were points. Yeah. And I didn't realize there were no overtime. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a but completely different rule set than the other matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it might just be because they, they're just doing a new event. Um, it's kind of hard to dial things in. So, yeah. first one's a nice tryout. Yeah. What do you think about this position these guys are in right here? Do you think he's going to finish that? I don't oh, actually, I don't want to. I don't want to ignore the fact that this guy is like deep in a submission right now. Oh, last week I went against this uh, girl in no gi for that match, and I kind of got into this position this after a Rollington Eminari, and one of the upper belts at my gym told me if you were to hold, we're past it now, but instead of going for the regular ankle lock, yeah. you get your other arm and you go through. You I'm showing it you to you. Weave, you weave yeah, the yeah, legs. Yeah. You it's, called it the, it's called the Texas clover leaf. Oh, nice. Is yeah. it? It's an ankle lock, but like a variation kind it's of. It's an ankle lock over your own shin. Yeah. Yeah. I got submitted like that at Grappler's Quest back okay. in 2010. Oh, yeah? 
it's amazing that I remember that. But okay. <laughs> but that if if he like swung that in there, maybe he would have gotten I mean, it. He almost did. Yeah, that would have been cool. <laughs> Anyways, back to your match. Um Sarah threw at least four knee bars at you, right? Oh yeah. Were yeah. any of them close? Because no. they looked close, <laughs> man. I, a couple times that looked like your knee was actually hyperextending a little yeah. bit. And I don't know if you have hyper, like double jointed knees or something. Surprise. Actually, when I was younger, it's kind of weird. Um, all of my seventh year, I had a obsession with stretching my left knee. Wait, did we get a submission? That a submission? Oh. You missed it. <laughs> Andy's hurt. Is he hurt? Oh, no. Um, well... You were stretching your knees. Oh, yeah. Just a weird thing. Anyway, that knee specifically, it's like you would have to bend over backwards to get a submission there. So it was a good you chance like, to rest. And you just let her crank it and burn out her Yeah, energy, I was right? tired. So, yeah, go ahead. Pull on this as hard as you want. Get, oh, yeah. Are you tired? For yeah, sure. keep, keep pulling. Yeah. And also, you know, I was like, I need to catch my breath. Yeah. Um, and she had me stuck. Everyone kept saying, Lynn, get up, get up. And I'm like, easier said to yeah, than yeah, done. Yeah, right. I yeah. would if I could. So yeah, good. for sure. <laughs> Uh, this is John Starks with the win, King of the North. I don't know if you ever heard of John Starks, I King, have of not. The, King of the North. Oh, nice. Where does he train from? Um, I believe he is in, uh, trains in Winterfell, BJ. I'm just kidding. You know John Stark from the Game of Thrones? Oh, just no. kidding. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, I'm lame. Gee, I don't know? watch a lot of TV shows. Uh, neither do I. <laughs> um, okay, wait. Our next match Daniel Munoz. Oh, this is supposed to be a really good one, actually. And Lewis. Oh, yeah. This is what people are saying is going to be fight of the night. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Yeah, that's yeah, the rumor. You wanna, are you going to commentate it with me? Um, well, I mean, I've trained with Lewis a few times, and he's good. So he's you're kinda, super you're fun. Kinda, are you kind of biased because Lewis is your homie? Well, well, no. Whoever is better wins, you know? Like, there that's, is no bias it, it in this. It is what it is. Submit or get out. <laughs> okay, so so also, you were in a, a pretty advantageous position at the end of 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Right? You were not. It was like Mount, but she had her arms under your leg. Uh -huh. Were you working on a loop choke or a collar choke or something there? Um, you're gonna have to every single one of my competitions it classes by in yeah, a blur. Okay. So what position was I in? It was it was like when the buzzer went off and then you dis you got off of her, but then you were like, Oh, it, it was there was some confusion about whether the match is supposed to continue oh, or not, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You gave up a very good position. Yeah. Because um, there was confusion. And I think that was kinda uh, unfortunate. <laughs> There's been a lot of unfortunate things lately. <sighs> um, but for that one, yeah, I think I got high mount. Yeah, and yeah. in a position to block off one of her arms. Both of her arms, I think, were under your legs. Oh, were they? Yeah, that, both that, arms. That's awesome. I, I, thought, I thought maybe you were working on something on her neck and she couldn't defend it because her both her arms were under the leg. But she didn't want to bring one arm in because then you can triangle her. I was trying to go for a deep <coughs> lapel grip and okay. then bring my arm over for a baseball choke. Okay. Probably. Got it. Yeah. And then you heard the buzzer and you stopped. Yeah. Uh, and then I forgot and, about that. And then there was confusion and then you guys just kept going, but then you, you lost your position. <laughs> her family, I think it was her, her corner, kept saying, no, the buzzer's wrong keep going keep going uh, and i was like oh but there were two buzzers so i, th yeah. I thought they were saying the first buzzer there was, was two wrong. buzzers yeah, yeah. okay that was oh that does suck that makes me want to roll again <laughs> <laughs> are you going to go back and watch the match <laughs> tell her to of course i always do you do yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. i only will go back and watch my wins really why <laughs> i have to watch my lo losers so i can <laughs> see where i went wrong <laughs> that, of course it's smart to do that but i just don't like to watch myself <laughs> i know i don't watch my white belt matches anymore that's cringy because <laughs> it's embarrassing no no it's so bad <laughs> yeah fair enough um, I wish I knew who is who. Do, can you tell me? Um, I think Lewis is on top, and he's trying to get a knee slice. Yeah, Lewis on right? top. He has yep. double double underhooks. It's oh, he does. Very okay, yeah. strong. I love double underhooks yeah. too. It's a very strong position. Oh, nice. Now he has like kind of a knee on belly, or. And then uh, and then Daniel Daniel Munoz is on the bottom, right? Oh, nice. He's gonna <laughs> setting what up is a dart, looking there for a go. dars. <laughs> um. Who's the guy at the bottom? Daniel Munoz. Okay. This is kind of how I like to play on top half guard too, and and on bottom actually. Not not so much on bottom. I don't like the underhooks on the bottom half guard. I prefer the overhook. I would give the top guy the overhook, underhook, and I'll take the overhook. Okay. I think at the moment I'm only I only know the underhook well enough to execute it. Well, maybe if you come to the seminar tomorrow, you'll learn. A thing oh or yeah. Two. yeah, is there a seminar tomorrow? Yeah, I would love yeah, to come. Yeah, it's mine. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Here. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> How come no one knows about it? <laughs> no one's been, no one's been pumping this thing out here. I got oh, this okay. little, this cool little flyer. I'm just gonna sit here and start waving this little flyer around. I think I, I was pretty off um, social media for a bit. Yeah. Well, you didn't even know the rules of your match, so I wouldn't <laughs> expect you to know the schedule, the seminar schedule, the <laughs> that gym. That's very true. That's something that should change. That's there. what I was saying when you guys were out there. I was like, look. 
I said it's it's a competitor's job to know the rules. Yeah, it is. But it is very tricky when they change the rules from the the semifinals to the finals. Yeah. You know what I mean? The semifinals was one rule set, and then the finals is another rule set. And Chad was the referee. He came over here. He sat down right here, and he goes, "Those girls have every right to be pissed off because no one told them." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh." I like, think Chad also said no one told me when he was like up there. By yeah. The for us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's the first event. Hopefully, there will be more where. Oh, I'm sure. Will it's been a great event too it so has. far. It's a lot, of really good energy in here. It's a lot of fun. Everyone gets really pumped up for the matches, awesome. and the competitors yeah. are just having amazing matches. And I think the crowd is really engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fun. So Lewis trying to pass the, guard. the smaller local tournaments are always better because everyone who is the teammate and the family and the friends they can all come. You yeah, know what I mean? True. Not everyone's gonna fly to Florida to watch you compete at Pans. You know. Yeah. Um, they just watch online, so it's nice to have all that emotional energy in the room. This is a very uh, community feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love local tournaments. I love. I was, I was when they told me th- they're going to have it the day before the the sem- I'm only here for the seminar, really. But when I had th- there was a tournament, I had to come up early to see it. Oh, nice. Plus, I know I have I know Chris. Where uh, he, are you originally from? I'm from San Diego. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we love it down there. It's a great Which place. Do you train at? Autos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, there's a Altos kid who just moved up to our gym. I guess his family moved here. Really? Yeah. What's the name? How, a kid? How old? What are you talking about? Kid? Probably not a kid. Maybe 18 to 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I used to teach the kids down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You don't know his name? Yeah. Not that important. <laughs> don't worry about <laughs> Sorry it. Sorry about that. Well, I'm sure he's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big gym. Yeah, it is a big yeah. gym. Yeah, it is. Uh, we have about 60 to 80 people on the mats. Well, what is it like being in that kind of atmosphere? It's unfortunate sometimes because there's no room to train. Exactly. And also hard to get give a little bit more one-on-one attention yeah. to show so many students. Yeah. He's going for that knee slice he's, again. He's, man, he's good on top. Louis, if right? I was that's Louis, l- that's I Louis? would put his head, my head on the ground. There we yeah, go. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what do you know? What belt level these guys are? Um, I think Louis just got his purple belt. Purples, okay. I want to say, okay. yeah. I don't know the <coughs> Daniel. But Daniel's, they, he's not conceding the guard pass. He's he's yeah. recovering every time. So that's the end of the regulation. Now they're going to go into EBI overtime. I always hate going to overtime. Looks like uh, Daniel's from Stockton. I wonder if he knows the uh, the Stockton slap. Do you know the Stockton slap? Is this another joke? <laughs> <laughs> it's what the it's what the um, Nate uh, Diaz and and his brother Nick Diaz they do yeah. when they're boxing. They slap the person instead of hitting them. They open the hand and just slap them. Oh, just to tease them. To Stockton yeah. slap. Yeah. Those guys are good. I mean, yeah. I watch UFC a little bit, but I love, they they I love definitely. Good jujitsu too. They have oh, very very good jujitsu too. Yeah. I hear they train like crazy. And yeah. Like triathlon. Yeah. So this is Daniel attacking the spider web. And this is out. looked like he went to go to mess with the wrist a little bit and then loosened up his legs too much. <coughs> um and now So ride time is not important. It doesn't matter how long it takes him to escape as long as he escapes and then they go into the golden score. I guess you probably know the rules better. Yeah, I'm just letting you. I'm just letting you know, (laughs) and I'm just letting the crowd know again. But that looks tight, even though he's over the chin. There's so much psi that you can create with that rear naked choke grip. It doesn't really matter if the chin's in or not. Especially if you're throwing that hip into. Yeah. Yeah, I I think he's. I would try to lock that body triangle right there too. He's got the legs to do that. Oh, and he's out. All right, so now they're going to stand up, and we do the golden score. How do you say Yamaso? Is it Yamaso? Yamaso. Yamaso? Yamaso. Yamaso is uh, Marcos. Marcos Terragrosa's gym, I think, right? I'm actually not sure. I've I'm definitely I'm heard the gym sure. before. I'm sure. I think it's in Elk Grove. Um, did they just reset it? Rest- was that a restart? Because they went out of bounds? Is that what happened? (laughs) What do you prefer if you're going to do EBI overtime? Oh, spider. Spider web. Yeah, Yeah, me too. Why? 
Um, I just feel people aren't as good at defending their arms as they are defending their neck. Okay. I feel like everyone has pretty strong back defense and neck defense. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you can definitely... I don't know. I feel like I have a, a higher percentage of finishing from the arm. So now they're going to do golden score. First to score wins. Oh, if he comes up, if he comes up, that's two. There it is. That's your boy Louis, right? Louis. 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 Watching right. people roll makes me want to roll again. That was a great match. Great match. Well, I don't want to keep you here too long. I don't know. I'm sure you got fans to see and some autographs to give and some drinks to drink. Yeah, I just um, right if you want to just tap my man over there, Which he, one? Um, the one with no legs. <laughs> hey, it was a great, great talking to you. Good job. It was nice meeting you. Don't forget tomorrow at 11. It's no geek, by the way. Hey, also, I wanted to ask real quick, the cornrows, how long does it take to get that done? The cornrows, how long does it take to get that done? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? No way. Wow, well, that's amazing. 30 minutes. I've always thought people, anyone with cornrows just looks tough. Do I look tough? Yeah, super yeah, tough. Nice. I, that's not the first thing people say when they see Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to text me. Up next, we have Brooke Mayo against... Nicole Johnson. Um, I let her stay through that entire match because oh, no. I, I know you wanted to watch that match oh, too, no, right? Thank you. That was your boy over there, yeah. right? Yeah. Those guys. That was Danny, a good one, man. Danny Mullins has gotten so much better. It's so cool to see people because uh, Lewis and him have gone back and forth a few times. And so it's exciting to see someone get better each time they grab. Yeah, yeah. It's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Where's Brooke out of? Billy. Hey, I'm going to take a five minute break. You do you? Maybe I'll come back and I'll get my man here Billy. Back, back on. But Billy, you want to get back on here? Thank you for hopping on yeah. the mic with it's me, Josh. Good. I'm going to come back when uh, when Chris is up, for perfect. sure. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So I, no I, def problem. I definitely want to. I'll, sw I'll, let, I'll swap, Billy swap out with me. Appreciate it. Perfect. Or let you swap out with me then. All right, guys. I'll be back. Thanks for having me, man. Now, welcome back to the mic, Billy the Kid. He's a kid because he's the size of a child. Brooke and Nicole are going at it. They are starting at a fast pace. All right, I'm back, and I am very excited about this match. I've uh, I've rolled with Nicole, and she is super strong. She is an absolute beastress. But Brooke, well, oh, if you sleep on any of these ladies in the card, you're absolutely insane. Oh, Every yeah. one of these ladies have been you're monsters. Yeah, you cannot sleep on any of them. They will destroy you. In every sense of the word. All right. Looks like Nicole going for a foot. Can't quite see from the here if it's a straight ankle. It looks like she's going for a straight ankle, but they got to start using that cross Brooke. arm to get under. Oh, she might be going Switch for a heel hook, maybe? She could go for a Texas clover leaf. Oh, yeah, Texas clover leaf. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Brooke doing a very Brooke good job about controlling the legs. Yes, preventing Nicole from getting up there. Brooke sits back and grabs a foot. Oh, nice. A that heel hook? Good. good pressure from Nicole. Not letting up. Nicole's going to go for a pressure pass, I think. It's very, very strong, very heavy on top. And the long step pass. Oh, that's just going for a knee. Oh, might be going for toe hold? Oh, collecting both those legs. Smart move. Yes. Toe hold. Heel hook. Not quite. And Brooke, does she have some uh, foot of her own over there? She's biting too high in the legs. She like has halfway up the shin. Good control position, but not offense. She's too, uh, trying to defend her feet right now. 
Yeah, I think Brooke's going to try to pop up. Maybe. I'll be doing exactly what Nicole's doing. I'll be going for that toe hold. Oh, no, she's going for the straight ankle. But once again, she's doing that same side, uh, the same side uh, ankle lock. You need to go crossbody. Way more pressure. Now Brooke on top. Oh, Nicole coming up to the back. Mm, can't tell. Camera angle. There we go. Nicole's got a foot tied up in there. Uh, I thought Nicole's going for a uh, knee ball right there. Mm. Brooke had a foot. Looked like she let it go to possibly come up. But now Nicole has her foot. Makes things Ooh, she very can, difficult. She can get a heel hook right there. Oh, she had. Oh, she's biting down. Good job. Very good leg attacks by both of these here. Now Brooke standing up. See if they go for some uh, jujitsu other than foot locks. Some more traditional. Foot locks or die. Yeah. The best. I think it's just foot locks these days. You know. That's it. They work. Yeah, they do. <laughs> We're going on again for the straight ankle, but not quite the right position. I don't think she didn't have the leverage. Nicole's going for the toe hold, and it's bent. That looks. That was deep. Yeah, that looks pretty tight. Savage. Brooke, uh, maintaining a nice game face. Ooh. <laughs> nice poker face from Brooke. That foot looked worse than mine. Oh, my God. What? Yours? Because I have none. So it, it mm, looked worse. I Mine's mangled, probably it. probably oh, rotten by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> took a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> took a minute. <laughs> I'm going to see how it could look worse than a non existing. <laughs> I mean, it exists somewhere. That's true. I'm gonna put it that way. Both ladies going for the feet again. It looks like Nicole's got a little bit of bite on, on Brooke's foot. 10 seconds left. Great leg lock battle. Hey, you can still get a leg lock with 10 seconds left. Oh, yeah. That's the beauty of leg locks. Did I just say how much I love leg locks? No. Oh. I think All you're right. hating and, on them. And that is well, into yeah, overtime. All right. Mr. Chad Bingham with the coin toss here. Let's see how he does. The number three coin toss are in all Did he even so. toss the coin? Yeah, it was Jesus. just so good that it was that fast. That might have bumped up and back up to number two. Yeah. There's that and slick. Nicole going spider for web. the spider web position. Well, I don't know if you heard it, but Josh was giving actually good tips because you know how people will set up and you get to pick what side you start on. So when they, when they, whenever your opponent gives you the arm you, they want you to have, say, no, I want uh, the other arm. Because uh, it's the weak side. Uh, like, oh. I didn't realize that little tidbit. So. I'm like, that's a competitor's mindset. All the little tips and tricks. Ooh, Nicole getting that foot over. Ooh, do very, very similar to Link, getting that bicep slicer. Now, if she can get that foot or, or left leg behind her, behind her head, she can turn into that. That Trigger Plata. The Huda Plata, what's that? The, is it Trigger Trigga Plata? Trigger Plata, sure. I have no clue. Uh, used to be Brado Plata, but I don't know if we can say that anymore. Barely know the basic move name, so don't get all fancy. Don't ask me. They change the name every five seconds. Okay. You, got, you have Brazilian names, Japanese, and American names now. I barely remember mm. any of them. Okay. Good. It makes two of us. It's a good thing we're both commentating. Exactly. <laughs> Nicole is shaking, shaking, shaking. Ooh, that is not fun. No, not at all. Have you ever been on the bottom, especially? In my leg, my, Nicole's my leg. strong, man. She's, she could. Oh, yeah. She's being oh, nice. She's there. going to the fingertips. Somebody that's mean. She's clicking the wrist. That. Oh, she's going to break it. Ooh, and slick. Oh. Very nice from Nicole. Nice Very job, slick Nicole. arm bar. That's a minute and 20. 20 in. Well, it doesn't Very matter. Very slick arm well, bar. Brooke's gotta, actually, Brooke's got to submit her in less than a minute 19 for the win. Brooke lacing up here, the side of her pref her preferred side. <laughs> Nicole right up. 
and shimmy her arm out. And, uh, oh, nice, Brooke. Putting Nicole back down. She had the leg. I didn't see that. She needs to get her left leg over, though. Get her left leg back over. And Nicole's just going to pop back up and get out. Ooh, good on Nicole. Nice job, Nicole. Very good, Nicole. Oh. Fantastic match. For the win in overtime. Up Nicole next, Johnson. Lindsay Boston and Alicia Marquin. Tiny Boston. Tiny Boston used to live in Reno. She's at Aries uh, Roseville now, I believe. And uh, I followed her for quite some time. I think we kind of came up together. And she is a little, dare I say it again, beastress. That's a good, hey, I've never heard beastress. I like that. I've been using it all night. I got to switch it up. I don't know. I'm kind of tuning you out. She's monstrous. Oh, that's, that's what I was just saying. <laughs> Here's Tiny Boston out first. I always like when fighters don't pick like hardcore music to walk out to. Let me hear. Put the headphone off. Sorry, you hear what she what's she coming out to here? Hallelujah. Grace and hallelujah. Oh, okay. Grace and hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace. Grace and hallelujah. Grace. Grace and hallelujah. Hallelujah. A little spiritual music here. I like it. All right. And Alicia Marquin. Alicia Marquin coming out. This is going to be a battle, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be exciting. Ooh, I'm always excited to see high belts go at it. Oh, yeah. Especially, I just, I love watching the ladies fight because they're just more aggressive than, than the guys, a, I They think. have a chip on their shoulder because people like to run their mouth. Yep. That too. <laughs> and it, like, like, I, like I said earlier, in jiu-jitsu, it's one of those states, one of the few sports where both sides of the coin are equally entertaining. Yep. And honestly, the ladies are, all, I think, more entertaining. Yeah, I agree. Here we go. And I'm not saying that because every one of them can probably kill me. Oh, wow. Lindsay for a guard pull and immediately comes up for top position Slip. and grabs a leg. Remember, you can heel hook now. And gi, you can heel hook. And gi? Yeah, here. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. Well, then. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Yeah, you, Almost you're positive. always wrong all the time. Was it you the other day telling me that the new IBJJF rule was yeah, one hundred percent? But it was I, I was confused. It was nogi, and I was thinking of this event. So it's nogi only. Um, yeah, well, for IBJJF and masters, my old ass cannot do it. Adults only. Brown and oh, oh, Lindsay got. Wow. Yeah, bleed. Oh. And then what happened? Popped her ankle. Oh no. So nice about it, though. I love the sportsmanship. Very good sportsman. Sportswomen. Sorry. Hey. The 2021. Let's, uh, They're going to beat you up, not me. <laughs> Let's not give you up here. And our EMT page is coming to check her foot out. Okay, and up now is Joel Smith and Nathan Fitosa. I am so excited for this match. I've got to roll with both these gentlemen, and both are so much fun to roll with. It's kind of, uh, well, it's our version of East meets West. You got Hawaii versus West Virginia. <laughs> Joel coming out in some very, very not loud spats for Joel. He, oh, he I, usually has, what, those Pokemon ones? Yeah all sorts of colors. Yeah, this is very subdued. Mm -hmm. And now walking them as Nathan Fitoza. Fantastic grappler out of Hawaii. Yeah, I kind of like, I'm feeling this walkout song. Can't really hear it, but it, it's got the beat going, you know, it's pumping me up. Sarah, that was awesome. Yeah. 
like I said, this is this is a probably one of my favorites, right behind Lewis and Daniel. Oh, oh they, they were both in the same game plan. Wow. Joel coming out with the fancy oh, moves. Getting that salsa oh, dance. in the slick. Wow. Cartwheel pass attempt or flip pass attempt and ends up in the closed guard. Nate has some good guillotines. He's caught me in those a couple of times. Nathan going for that, uh, possibly trying to set up that arm. No. Nathan and Joel Switching to mm -hmm. you got, uh, one head control, switch. control posture here. Uh, I'm going to corner you. Oh. Yeah, it's been cool. And Joel definitely has the fro advantage. Um, I don't think I've ever seen his hair is that, this poofy. So. He's growing it out. Okay. He's going for a new look. Yeah, he really made oh. an effort for this one. Uh -oh. Nathan trying to set up an Oma plot, it looks like. Oh, no. oh, oh Joel, Joel steps, steps over. over. Fantastic. Very, very beautifully, but he oh. might give Nathan up a looking for the footlock. Ooh, toe hold. Joel's got to be careful here. His yep. feet hanging out right there like that. Oh, now Joel's hunting. Oh, Joel's getting the heel hook. hook. And it's turning, turning. He does that have the knee line. Yep, he's got his knee almost out. There he goes. Now his knee's out. Fantastic from both gentlemen. Some sportsmanship there. I love it. They're going to scooch away from the edge a little bit. Keep the action going. Is Joel going to elevate him? His feet? No. Nope. That was smart, though. Too many people have to get those feet oh, inside. Body, a little body lock. Ooh, Joel. Oh, back in the uh, Uma Plata. Nathan's getting, oh. He gets out and starting a pass and he rolls. Two and a half oh. minutes left. Ooh. Nathan looks like he's setting up a toe hold. Ooh, that looks that is tight. Getting Ooh. tight. And they're going out of bounds. Out. He's got to pull his foot out Nate there. He can't roll anymore. I think Joel's has his leg straight enough to defend, but there we go. <laughs> oh, Joel's the pants butts came down. Nah. Oh. Very nice. Calm down, ladies. And a West Virginia high five? I don't know. Oh, yeah. West Virginia high five, we'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> See if he goes another uh, cartwheel pass. Joel likes like that Nathan's funky stuff. Him. Yeah. Is it safe to say his nickname could be Joel Funky Fresh Smith? Pretty, I mean, if you want to call him that, you can go for that. I will. We got to we gotta find something catchier, Funky though. Funky Fresh. It could be really terrible, too. Yeah, that's true. Joel moving his hips uh, for a pass here, it looks like. Switching his hips from side to side. And he stands back up. Nathan not having it, stays on his behind and invites him to come on into his guard. I don't know, you caught that. I was smooth from Joel. He stomped his foot down in between uh, Nathan's guard. Two people would like to ease it in there. Joel's like, nope, my foot is <laughs> there. Very slick. <laughs> One minute left. Joel stepping over and. Nice. I don't know if he's going to go for Nathan's foot, but he's leaving his feet out there. He's got to be careful with that. He's got a good boot on it. He does almost, if he can adjust. Joel's got to reach back and come hook. around. Yeah, he's got to put his left elbow way back. He's got to watch right his, there. He's, he's, oh, there we go. Yep, he's, oh. Toe hold, Joel. Does Nathan have his foot? Joel needs to get, get his wrist there around the heel, not his forearm. Too easy to slip on the on the forearm. Yeah, he's too high on there. You gotta hook your hand behind it. What's called a heel? Not, hook. not that I would know, but from what I hear, you gotta yeah, it's gotta be a little lower. You gotta remember where the hook comes from. Oh, yeah. 
too many people forget. <laughs> I'll get you to learn good. Well, yeah, I mean, if by learning you mean you'll just attack them on me and nail them all the time, then I'm, I'm coming along, right? Exactly. You're learning. Right here. You're always at a college yeah. level. Oh, yeah. That's time. These gentlemen oh, are going to go to the first OT round here, EBI rules. Coin toss, and Mr. Joel chooses first, and I have a feeling, well, he might go for the spider uh, whatever. Nope. He's going for the back. <laughs> Should have rolled with it. I like triangle in the leg better in gi because you can get a bow and arrow. I don't like sing, I don't like triangle in the one leg. I feel like guys are too e too can uh, turn into it too easy. Yeah, too slippery. But Joel's also way slicker than me, so Joel's pretty slick though. See, he's going for the he's going for a twister. Oh no, banana split. I think he was going for the twister. Now it's, oh, now he's switching Nathan's it. Nathan's making a face. And he's out. Uh, 43 seconds there. Okay. So I thought with if it was a submission, you wouldn't let go, or the time still went. If it was a submission, the time yeah. still goes? I, th I thought it was. No, as, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, the time doesn't matter. No, no, not the time, but, but I thought the, it still oh, counted as a position. Oh, fantastic. Immediately just turned right into a beautiful job by Joel. Joel. Funky fresh Joel Smith. I mean, it's Joel Smith. You don't have to get too creative with the nickname, right? Yeah, you're right. And the golden rule. First one to score points. I want to see a blast up. Oh, oh I was going to say, mm -hmm. Joel's got his rest. Uh, he's like, come on, man. Come on, please. <laughs> he's trying to run his yeah. mouth, get in his head. And the cartwheel Slick. pass. And Ooh. can he stabilize it? Oh, he stepped over and left his foot out there hanging. I don't know if these guys realize it's point. <laughs> hey, it's point. It's point or submission. Point or submission. So yeah. Oh, and Joel's pushing up. They're both still but gunning for the submission. Dave's got that leg across his hips. Okay, we lost visual. <clears throat> Let's see here. Can't really see why without our screen. Oh, I think Joel passed. Side control. He's got to stabilize it though. And it looks like Joel stabilized. Yeah, and from side it's control. The W. Joel Smith with the win. Fantastic. Okay, guys. Up next, we have Eli Alcos against Antonio Velasquez. Oh. And we're back. And making his way to the mat is Eli Alcos. This is a brown belt match in the gi. Eli from Allianz. Good though. <laughs> Antonio Velasquez coming out now. Brown belt from Jiu Jitsu Inc. Just kidding, I don't I can't see from here. Oh. Gorilla Jiu Jitsu. Is that over in the bay? I don't know, but it's going to be a good match. I've seen th that school all over the place. I know that they are animals. Well, I think it actually it's out by Stockton, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. I feel, like, I feel like I've seen them 
you know, around the competition scene for a while and very good beat, very good people out of that. Immediately both guys go to their behinds. Nice little flip. You guys on top now. Good guard of Antonio in here. Nice and flexible. Yeah, nice inverting too. Ooh, oh, to the back. Lick oh. moves by Eli. Oh, and Antonio pops up. Eli with a guard of his own now. And Antonio almost passes Eli's guard. Eli pops right back up and is in a top half guard. And it looks like he might have the, uh, no, I can't see from here. He might have his opposite side arm. See what he can do from there. Personally, my favorite from this position is a straight arm lock. Oh, yeah. Especially when you can keep, oh, yeah, you don't like curling no. like that. Keep them all flattened out, get that arm out. Yeah, now he can take that wrist again, go for a Kimura maybe. But oh, he's grabbing the lapel, wrapping around the arm. Oh, he, he could be going for the, uh, not Bravo. Uh, Cross calling? Bravo, whatever they call it. Call, I mean, call it so many different. Might use it for control or for the choke. Two and a half minutes left. Beautiful grip. That is such a strong grip when they get that. That I believe is that called the Bravo grip there. Looks like the Bravo it. choke. I don't know. So that's I'll what the Bravo up. choke. That's Bravo what I was thinking choke. of. There you go. Fun thing about jujitsu is there's one move and you can have ten different names yeah. for it because different schools might name like. A and then one school gets mad pressure. at you for not yeah. knowing <laughs> their name. It's like okay, bro. Like oh sorry, I guess I'm not. Like, does it make it worse if I tap you something I don't yeah. know the name to? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he backsteps Eli. Trying to gift wrap. Gift wrap. Ooh, but got it. Nice defense. Antonio. Yeah, Antonio not having it. And he's coming up. A little bit of a butterfly guard. Eli steps back again, but Antonio's coming up. Or almost comes up. There he goes. You know what's impressive with these want guys? Curl. He wants that toe hold. Is the fact that bar. even with one of them flattened out, if you look at them, they have very little body on the ground. They're not flattening out. They're yes. curling up. They're cutting angles. It's fantastic. It's just so technically sound, both these guys. So. Oh, and the. Oh, I thought he had the triangle for a second there. Back to close guard of Antonio's is Eli. Trying to posture up and out. Trying to trap that foot with his I collar. Wonder, yeah, I wonder if he's just going for the foot or trying to set something up there. Or if Eli left that out there. Ooh, and there this is very slammed heads. Eli's back in the closed guard, traditionally. No foot in peril. Eli beautifully stepping back, but he They're basically falling the pinnacle of position before oh, submission. No. Yeah. A lot of the lower right. belts you saw throwing out submission, they didn't have it. These guys were setting it up, trying to get that control first. Yes. Beautifully done by both guys. Very back and forth there. Now we're to overtime. 
So it looks like we're going to start off with Antonio on Eli's back. Here we go. Oh, and Antonio's out, out. already. Slick. God, I love watching high-level grapplers. It's so impressive. Because you know it's – any one of these guys, you got them on your back. It's a nightmare. And to see him get out that quick, it's like – it's just pure skill. Oh, yeah. Very good to see. Now we got the reverse. Antonio has his back taken by Eli, and he is almost, oh, he was almost out, but Ooh, he caught that corner with the heel. Turned back the opposite way. Now Eli maintained the back control. Oh, if Eli can hold out his fingertips, he might be able to get that choke right there. Yeah. That's tight. I think so. Oh, he tapped. Did no, he, he tap? He did. Okay, I'm sorry. It looked like he tapped. I don't know, man. I thought I saw a tap earlier, too. I'm not going to say anything. Not from this match, but others. Yeah. There oh, we tap. go. Nice. Good job. What was that? He pulled the arm back for a triangle? No, it's a straight. It's just that you have the straight, straight arm, arm bar. Yeah. Okay. It's just from a funky position. Yeah. Because you know some guys will triangle, or they'll basically body lock the arm and wrap. Yeah. Nice. And we got Eli with the technical stand up. Looks like his knee may have been bothering him. Good job. There we go. Very good. Fantastic role for these guys. And up next, Jack Montgomery against Chris Gabrielson. Oh, boy. I know Josh said he was going to come back for Chris and commentate, but he's actually got asked the corner, so Josh will not be coming back. You have to deal with me and Billy. Sorry, y'all. You get me. But not sorry. You got us, the dynamic yeah. duo. I am the Robin to Logan's Batman. We can't say, can we say Robin Hood anymore? No. No, I didn't say Robin Hood. No, I, I, but that's what I thought. Like, man, but can, no, we can't say Robin Hood. That's bad. Because we don't know how to do stocks. Well, you don't know how to do stocks. Well, I don't know either. I just want to say that. <laughs> I, I don't, but I can't pretend like I can. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I think a lot of people became experts recently. That's Jack Montgomery favorite. coming out here. He, uh, trained he has his own school in reno this guy is a pioneer of mixed martial arts he's been around for a very long time he's very good at some front headlocks i've had the pleasure of rolling with him a few times and uh man he's strong here we and go chris gabrus is making his way to the mat <laughs> that was Mr. Hinder right there for everybody that missed it. Close up of his beautiful face in the camera. Should be a high level match. Jack Montgomery against Chris Gabrielson. Let's see it. Here we go. The thing I love about high, these high level ones is a lot of times it ends so quick. Yes, these guys are both. I know Jack's a high-level black belt. So this ought to be good. Chris with the tattoo game on point from looks like uh, shoulder to toe. He's blasted. It's awesome. What's going on here? They're waiting for the time to get restarted. Ah, oh. yes, the timer. The dreaded timer. The elusive timer. That's, are we doing 10 minutes now? No, we're doing five, but the timer, they can't seem to get it right. Yeah, you know, jujitsu people win. Oh, so it is a 10-minute 10 10 match. 10-minute match, very good. They don't tell me nothing. They don't tell us anything. We're just calling, you know, whatever. We don't matter. We're going to have a seat of our pants here. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we like it. Oh. 
Oh! Ooh. Chris goes for the uh, front headlock and immediately gets in danger of a headlock. Ooh, nice. Way to get out. It's always a big boost of confidence when you get out someone's signature move. Oh, especially Jack. Yeah. Jack's headlocks are tight. They look tight. Fantastic defense from Chris. Looks like Chris gonna go for a knee cut on top. See, from this position, I love the Japanese necktie. I think it's so underrated. Well, a lot of people can't finish it like you, though. So there's that. Nah, there's a lot of people who get the Japanese necktie. They just don't commit. <laughs> Oh, oh, we, oh, he went going for that Darce. Here we go. He's setting up. He's got the arm over. The Darce is my first option. But the Japanese necktie get, get, allows that head to get a little bit farther back oh, so you get that go. Darce nice, nice and deep. he's got his right arm a little deeper. Jack's got to get under. Oh, him. nice. Going for the north-south north south choke. These are so hard to finish against high-level guys, though. Yeah, Jack doing all the right stuff to defend. And he gets oh. a half guard, but was he going for an arming guillotine? Chris has a guillotine. It's it's hard to finish the guillotine yeah. from here. Unless you're able to flatten him out. Yeah. Or you have a ridiculous squeeze. Yeah, a ridiculous squeeze, and you'd really have to get a little higher up, I think, and put the heads on the lats to finish from here. But oh, and there he goes, oh. actually. Making the adjustment. Oh, it looked like it was oh. tight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was Good tight. Job. But then he rolled, and Jack's now on top and side control. A lot of pressure from Jack on top. Ooh. Little hand in the face. Again, oh, nice. Takes. Oh. Chris Gear wasn't getting that leg up. Oh, oh right to wow. the back. Great transition. Oh, my goodness. That was slick. Like it's right such up. High level competition. Got head and arm, one hook. <laughs> Plenty of time to work here. About 6.45 left. Having a black belt on your back is probably one of the worst feelings in the world. <laughs> one of the worst. What are these things? Oh my god. I already touched this one. I want that though. That's all right. No. You did the whole thing, or what? <laughs> okay, quick break from the action. We're getting donated up here. And looks like uh, Jack is still in peril, but he's wiggling free. Cheers, Logan. Cheers with the. Oh! Ooh, with the straight arm lock. Very slick straight arm lock. Looks very deep. What's that, brother? Sorry. Um, okay, yeah. I don't know what else. Can he get it? He get it back to you? Okay, great. Yeah, thanks so much. You here already? You're supposed to inject your feeling, bro. I did. You did? Oh! 
Oh my. <clears throat> I had to talk to the headphone guy real quick, and Jack is now on top. What a change of events here in the matter of 30 seconds. Way to get out of that straight arm lock. Fantastic defense by Chris Grabosun. Oh, Jack going for an arm bar here. Oh, nice. Beautiful finish by Jack. Jack Montgomery with the finish. Fantastic. Jack Montgomery with the arm bar at six minutes and, oh, I'm sorry, five minutes, 30 seconds. I can't count. I do jujitsu for a living. Jesus. Don't look at me, look at him. That's, he's the idiot. Can't take us anywhere, right? No, 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 can't take you anywhere. Oh, right. I'm uh, the pinnacle of what a person should be. No, you didn't, you didn't <laughs> drop no, because it all went in my mouth because I'm fat. That's true. As you can see, Chad Bingham is updating his Instagram. Live. While we wait for the next match. Live on pay-per-view. Of Eduardo Crema versus Cletus and Ramos. Oh, you know what else? Come here. I heard you love that. Joel. Slick, man. That's it, bro. And on the mat is Eduardo Crema. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. What? Minus you being like 63% evil, I appreciate it. I'm kidding. Right. Making his way is Cleason Ramos. A black belt gi match. This is exciting, guys. As you can tell by the look on Chad's face, he's very excited too. As always, enthused. Take it a minute because the crowd's passing out donuts. You can't say no to donuts, guys. If you do, you're just not right. Are they passing the donuts to everybody? I thought we were special. Well, we were special because we got the good ones. Yeah, we got these donuts. So uh, we inject mm -hmm. your own filling. I've never had that in my life. Yeah, just so you guys can it's understand amazing. my struggle here, okay? Yeah, I'm, Billy got it everywhere. The man dropped the mic and how do you not like? Attention here's the best part. How do you get it everywhere when it's in its own medical syringe that you can inject? It's just that good. Here we go. And it started. Eduardo Crema versus Cletus and Hamos or Ramos, as I've been told. Apparently, we are pronouncing the R's tonight. We have no HRs today. Uh, yeah, you Way to confuse me, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. Ooh, Ooh pulled guard. Pulled nice. Ooh, nice passing all the way around. He's cut around quick. Got to his back. I don't know how many of those passes the bigger guys have, you know. These guys Pretty are pretty dynamic and uh, they'll tire you out, you know. I don't know they're black belts. They should they should have a little bit of cardio. But so now we're back to five minutes. Uh, yes. Okay. Welcome to the Arte Swab where we don't know the rules. We don't know the rules and neither do we. <laughs> we're all just having fun here, okay? See a long step pass in the future, maybe. Oh, wow. Cleese moves very well for a big guy. Yes, he moves like a small guy. 
He's flowing on top of him. Very, very nice movement there. And he's back in the top half. Looking to flatten him out. Oh, and that gi grip. This is excellent for control. He can give him a little shoulder. Get that here. Bravo choke too. Use it to pass. <laughs> Bravo chokes. Staying heavy on top. Two and a half minutes to work. space on bottom but not quite enough to get up and out yet here we go it's like he might swing for a deep half I don't know Cleason looks like he's putting that pressure on I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that it's so hard to swing around you the guy that putting that much pressure in India even if you have his leg caught like that yep see yeah beautiful work from Cleason Not to disparage uh, Eduardo, but Cleason's looking fantastic. Eduardo got closed guard. He's breaking that grip quick. And he's got the lapel. Let's see if he can. Oh, little lapel guard action here. Snuck it right behind his leg there. Got a minute to work here, so think about that lapel guard is, you know, is that enough time? Well, it might I mean, be. maybe for a smaller guys, because go, 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 but the bigger guys, they're harder to move. We're going to find out in 50 seconds if this is a five minute or a 10 minute where they mess up the clock. Yes. We'll see what happens with the beeps. You'll be as surprised as we are. Yeah, it's all a mystery. Let's all find out. Thirty seconds. <laughs> the cord got stuck in your leg again. Huh? Always need like a brush guard. <laughs> oh, Cleason, does he have ten seconds? I can't see what he's saying. No, he doesn't it have like it. Like he had a grip for a second, but. Here we go. That's time. These gentlemen are going to go to the OT. So it was a five minute. Was a five minute. Later, man. Great job, Zoe. So money. That's going to stick now. So Cleason gets the pick. I'm guessing back. They're both talking. He's like, ah, oh, give it to him. Let him pick. Confident. He's going to go with your tactic and choose the opposite arm of what Cleason wants. Hey, I'm stealing that 100%. Yeah? I mean, I can't hear what they're saying, but that might be what's happening. Chad with the hand movements. I think they're just clarifying the position. Motioning. Black Belt's always trying to get a little bit of an advantage. Like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. They, they all talk so fully with their whole body, you know? Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get a black belt. I think they both agree just to stall out. to talk. They're just talking. They're, they're, yeah. they're just catching their breath right now. They're like, hey, uh, I'm a little unclear about um, what kind of coin you used. It was a 19, Is it a double-headed? It's a 1972 quarter. Yeah, those are illegal in coin tosses. Here we go. Nice back control. Got two minutes here, so it looks like he might be going straight for the rear naked. 
I can't see from here, but and does he have wrist control on the other arm there? What do you think, Logan? It Can looks like he might. Can you see what's what? Not really. That's the great thing about jujitsu as well. <laughs> Especially you get two tinier guys doing leg locks and you have no clue no. whose foot is what and where. Me and, and Josh how. were talking about that. When Lynn and uh, Sarah were all tangled up, they were in oh, human yeah. pretzel. Like, what the what? It's always so confusing, but beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I love leg lock battles. They're fantastic. Oh. And he's, he should not go on top, though. He needs to bring him back down, bring him back to the back control so he can attempt the submission. Otherwise, he ends up mounting. That's it. All right. So he's still got some form of back control and threatening the submission. Got 45 seconds left here. And that's that. That was a minute and a half, so. And swap. Doesn't matter, though. <laughs> As we've said multiple times tonight. Minute and a half, times. that does not matter whatsoever, except uh, mentally, right? Yep. Mentally. Can wear on your opponent. Maybe cardio-wise, too. Wear them down. I think it matters more of your opponent if your opponent gets out super quick rather than, like, a middling time. Like yeah. That. But once again, it's also a black belt. So, no. even getting someone off your back of black belt is an impressive feat. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like we're going to the golden rule. Oh, that already happened? Huh? Oh, oh. sorry. I said goodbye to Lewis real quick. I don't know, dude. Oh, yeah, me, yeah, me. Rule. We both said goodbye. Oops. My bad. Ooh, nice. Oh. Ooh. Eduardo with the reverse. Nice. Nice counter. Got a minute and a half left here. Golden rule for points. Water's got to swim his right leg. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Oh, I think one more time you can do that quick and get it through. Here we go. Can he pass? Back right in the guard. guard. A little over a minute left here. Forty-five seconds before the ref decision. Get better. Pick it up. Oh, getting through. Big boys are moving. Huh? my barbecue sauce. Oh God, of course you did. Here we go. Back to their feet. 15 seconds left. Is it going to go to the hand of the referee? Got to push. Three seconds. A lot could happen in three seconds, but, you know, if the ref's back is blocking the Who camera, think got we it? won't be able to see. I don't know. I think Cleason got it. I think they got were it. blocked to see from Not referee's needed. back, man. I think, um, yeah, I'd have to agree. Agree a little more of the aggressor, a little more he control. Was, uh, more control, more passing, more positions. Ah! Yep. Yep. And for our last match of the night, we have Esteban Martinez against Jeremiah Labino. I probably messed up your last name, and I'm sorry. Labiano? Labiano. Labiano, maybe? That was much Labiano. better. Yeah, I messed that up. My bad. So one name I didn't even use. <laughs> Great sportsmanship by these two gentlemen. I love to see them hug it out afterwards. See, first we kill, then we love. 
Not always in that order. That happens. And making his way to the mat is Estevan Martinez. Loving it. These are little guys. For those who don't uh, can't see me here, I'm a little guy as well. So I'm a big fan of little guy jujitsu because the pace is pushed. All right. One thing you can expect out of this match is they're not going to be chilling. There's probably not going to be too much time where they're uh, kind of you know in limbo or not no, moving. These, these guys are going to be moving at a million miles an hour. I am excited. Honestly, high level little guys, oh, they're so much fun to watch. It's, oh, it's and be a that mullet. Oh, that mullet's so nice. That's the weirdest how way does, you could have said it. How have the mullets uh, been doing tonight, though? So far, I think they've lost. Oh. Well, then. Oh, oh, Ooh, oh. Slick. Oh, Esteban Martinez, this is that guy that beats the crap out of all the big guys. I think there's a size difference here. But uh, Martinez does not care. He'll fight anybody. I don't know if you've ever rolled good little guys, but they're monsters. I might have him mixed up with, with somebody else, but I, I'm pretty sure this is the guy that just is really good against bigger guys. <laughs> He'll fight anybody. Ooh, I love slick. it. Oh, slick. Wow. A guillotine attempt, but it looks like uh, Jeremiah got, those ha got that hand before he get around the neck. Oh. That's he's hiding him with his hip. I think he's going to try to adjust his knees, his hips down. And Jeremiah's got good control of those hands. Looks like he's grabbing the thumb, though. He's got a, He's in the top quarter guard. He's just trying to get his foot out now. This is a 10-minute match. Oh, and oh, he nice. sits back for the leg attacks. He's in that truck position. Jeremiah capitalizes. Sits back for a leg attack of his own. That's Devon capitalizing, staying on top. Or not. Oh, go for knee bar. So. Jeremiah's going for knee bar. Oh, no. See, again, it could change. And it's hard to get knee bars with guys with little legs, little stout legs. Jeremiah coming up and trying for a foot attack of it, and then Esteban going for the opposite side foot at the same time. Extremely good techniques from both these guys. Devon going for that arm there. Jeremiah with the foot and Esteban is out. Esteban is pit bulling those legs. He's not letting go. Both these guys, they will not let go. They're always maintaining contact of something or another. 
Nice sprawl from Jeremiah. Get him to break that crip. Oh, he could be over guillotine of his own. Oh, nice transition to the back. A little high. Oh, oh rolls. Wow, nice roll. Just got to get those hooks, though. Good job on Esteban not to let that happen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Jam is just holding on. Good control. Yeah, head and arm control. Paid dividends. Esteban almost squeaked out of there, but Jeremiah held on tight, and here we are. Esteban coming up for a single. Can he dump him? Yes, he can. Very nice. Beautiful, and immediately going for the pass. Six minutes left to work. Here we go, one of those very elusive breaks. With Jeremiah's arm like that, you could be getting a Dars. He's got space. Oh, yeah. See, there was no break. They're constantly working. It's always something they're setting up. Jeremiah trying to get him off base. Jeremiah with a deep underhook. Let's just see if he's going to be able to come up with this. I would say get his right arm behind the head of Jeremiah, force it back, grab your hands with that Japanese necktie, pull his head under, switch to a Dars. My favorite transition. Oh, we got a leg entanglement Ooh. here. Like I said, it's so hard to uh, leg lock guys with little legs like that. And they're and so Esteban good defending. Is, he knows, man. He's yeah. not leaving his feet out there. Not you for a, a second. Yeah, you have a split second to catch that leg, and it, he's, this one's not letting it happen. Mm -mm. Maybe a foot lock might work pretty well. That's what I'm doing so good about pumping those legs out and ripping them right back, not leaving them out there. I feel like there might be a size weight difference here. Oh, slick. I know this main event, it got, uh, the fighters changed yeah. a bit, so. Festival's who I'm thinking of. He will fight at any weight. <laughs> he doesn't care. Jeremiah back on top here. The other thing with the small folks is it's really hard to keep them down. Yeah. Like from here, especially in, if you don't have like a side control mount, but even then it's really tough because they pop right back up. The former cross start is never fun. No. Looks like uh, Jeremiah's doing a good job flattening the Esteban out. Best one's got his feet and in the hips of Jeremiah, keeping him away, able to push off. Three minutes left to work. So it instantly went from top half to 50-50 to <laughs> this. Jeremiah Control chin strapping. Chin. Yeah. Pushing it away now. Probably get him to snap back down. Yeah, he's trying to get him back down. But man, it's so hard to keep him down. Estevan has not, I think maybe for a split second, he just pops right back up. I 
would say Esteban maybe pop his knee out and cut, but I have a feeling he might be doing another one of those dynamic. Uh, nope. Esteban trying to bite down on a guillotine, but that mullet's letting him out. Yes, powerful mullet. Oh, someone checks the foot. Ooh. Nice oh, key wow. from Jeremiah, but immediately. That's what pops right out. Yeah, he put his hit backs right at the right time. Just in the nick of time to get out of danger there. A little over a minute left, guys. These guys are just so fast, too. Like, within a split second, they're out of danger or attacking or scrambling. So Esteban in a good top position here. Let's see if he can hold him here in advance. Here we go, Jeremiah turning in. Esteban going north, south to neon belly and oh wow, beautiful, slick, beautiful Ooh, slick back transition. take. Oh my god. Ah. Jeremiah so was quick. doing all the right good 20 defenses. seconds left. Let's see if we can finish. And Estevan just too fast. He zigged and zagged and back attacked. Nah, those little guys you got to hold down. You can't give them any space. Yes. Got to do some wizard shit and just bounce around. He's got 10 seconds left. And it looks like this one's going to go to OT. Good job. Into the overtime, guys. A great fight by both guys. Here we go, Jeremiah starting in the spider web. And here we go. Smart decision, especially for someone. Oh, oh and he immediately pops up. And he's out. Slam. Eight seconds. Not that that matters. Yeah. Like, once again, but ride time. But get in the but, head of your opponent. Yes. Now the uh, switcheroo here. And he's going to have to wait for the... Yeah, they got to wait, wait for the ref. Right here. here we go. Immediately head down. Very nice. It's going to be interesting Jeremiah how Esteban part. controls Jeremiah with this. When he took us back during regulation, he, he kept it for, what, like 10 seconds. Yeah. Which, so far, it's longer than, uh, you know, Jeremiah had him. But looks like he's slipping out. See if Esteban can uh, get him back where he wants him. He's got to maintain that back, though. He doesn't want to slide underneath too far. Nope. I think he might out. be out. Yeah. yeah, he's out. Okay. The golden rule. We're going to have the golden rule OT. First to two points, or I'm sorry, first to any points for that matters. Yep. Is the winner of this main event, Art Suave. Elite. Number one, elite. Great show here tonight. I want to give uh, mad props to Alfredo and Justin for. Oh, 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 fantastic oh, oh, oh. Scramble. Wow, is he going to get us like a Bouncing hook? around. Now he can come up. Oh, wow. He just oh. jumped that hook right in there. He comes up. He comes up and stabilizes. He wins. Nope, he's still squirming. Jeremiah is squirmy. Oh, is he squirmy? We got a minute 15 left. And if he can get that second hook here, that's it. But no, Jeremiah's not letting it happen. That's about a squeezing. One minute left until this is over. Good tactic, I think I agree with this corner. Go for the sub here. It's 
close, maybe. Can't tell from this angle. Otherwise, I gotta reset. Now maybe he should, I don't know. And so I'm looking at the ref, maybe to reset the positions, but I don't think it's gonna happen. 30 seconds remains. Twenty seconds. Jeremiah turns in. Oh, and up. slick. And he gets the two. That's it. Wow. Good job. Holy guacamole. Excellent. Fantastic. By this these two guys in this main event. That was the Jeremiah last with match the of the day, guys. The win. Thank you for tuning in. Everyone tuned in to the RNA Swab Elite, the first event. Hopefully, this is the first of many more. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. These guys have been fantastic. Well worth the show. Thank you, everybody. And again, thanks to everybody putting this on. Massive Great props to Alfredo and Justin. Jiu -Jitsu. If you guys do not, if you're tuning in, you haven't trained or you're thinking about training or you haven't, you've MIA for a while. Get to the nearest gym and go train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a 180 degree life improvement. Thank you. Especially at Precision Jiu Jitsu Academy. <laughs> <laughs>